What's up? What's up? It's the art the most experienced with Deke. I'm Art the most, and that's my main man, Deke. What's good, bro? <sighs> Vibed out per usual. Yep, per usual. Yeah. How you, man? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Over the last two days, really haven't done too much. Uh, there's been more things that have dropped about the final play that have interested me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More information has I leaked. I love it. It's a ton of info, baby. I think I've come to the final conclusion. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Kenny did make adjustments legitimately. Correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. Line of scrimmage also told Pickens and the to do a yes. go route. Mm-hmm. I think those were built into the play throughout the week. <laughs> yes, that is also Prepared correct. For. Yes. If the Ravens showed a certain look, yeah. you're supposed to do this. Yes. So Canada gets some credit, I guess. R- respect. Some credit, I guess. <laughs> respect. It, More to pick it and pick it. The fact that you even gave him that, bro, that was more than I even expected, man. So salute you on that. Yeah. Um, I know we got him a lot on defense here in Pittsburgh. Instead of saying regular cover three, it's 36. We got a look that we're going to give you versus pro. We got a built-in check versus slide. You can align it and we can come out and it's going to look like we called it. Or you can motion to it or move to it and it's going to like we check into it. But, yeah, that is common practice at that level. Yeah, It seems like everything lines up to yeah. where that is yeah. how it happened. But on top of it, though, because I know initially people were kind of trying to look at that as the aha, I told you this is why or, you know, which hunt, whichever way they wanted to push it. If it was a Kenny indictment, if it was a Canada indictment, right? One way or the other. But at the end of the day, isn't that what we've all been wanting? Growth. Trust from coordinator in his quarterback. Quarterback, not just see it, actually call it, and then get it executed. Everything that we want to happen, we're seeing it. It's a small sample size, though. We need more of it. It has to expand, but that's the autonomy that if you want to get the audibles, I can't give you the ability to change whole plays if you can't even run simple checks. If the safety is on the hash versus safety in the middle of the field, if that corner is outside leverage versus inside leverage, if it's double mug a gap, like we know Baltimore ran a lot of right with Roquan and Patrick Kane walked up, they might have a look if they off, they might have a look. All of that is what you want because that's the coordinator saying that I trust my quarterback to be able to at least make those adjustments to get us in the right call. Now, from there, if you keep doing this enough, now we could build upon it and say, hey, man, you got a five play menu for your audibles. You can't go full empty and call every every route, but you got the ability to check to this, this or this. Those are your audibles for right here. That's how it grows into it. I always think of like Ryan Shazier. That's at least what I get in Madden. Yeah. So, I mean, let's let's give it to the quarterback on yeah. Sundays. Because I think how, like when, when Shazier first came here, man, we didn't have all these checks. It wasn't all this. He could call it at the line of scrimmage and how he would be audible in full calls. It wasn't that initially. Initially, it was, bro, you're going to call what you're going to run what we call. Then it was, all right, if you see this look, you could check this one call. Then it became, all right, Shade had checked the whole defense on this. But Coach Tomlin and him had that relationship where it was a trust, him, Keith Butler, and company. So it was like, all right, you've earned it. But that was three years in this thing before, you know, he was able to start doing that type of stuff, man. So with Kenny, that was his 17th start, 17th game. That stuff is coming, baby. Well, that stuff Kennedy is definitely coming, even man. said in his interview today that Kenny did stuff like that four or five times throughout the mm-hmm. game. It's and, good. And you I, can, I, but you can see it on the tape. You see his, I know on one side to the left side of scrimmage, you see him doing hand signals at times. So it's like, yeah, we're getting these things. This is a good situation. It just, I'm sure if they were trying to use it for ammo to take one party down, it's probably not the best because it's actually a benefit for both of these dudes. But that's what you want, man. This is growth. This is progress. Uh... It's it's tough. It's tough. It really is. It's just we got bailed out, I feel like, so many times. They're given so many opportunities that, again, thank God we hit yeah. on the final one or those last yeah. two drives. Yeah. But 
if the game plays out differently and the Ravens just make simple football mm-hmm. plays, I don't even think we get that opportunity. Yeah. Now, credit to both sides of the ball, defense, you can even throw special teams in there, and mm-hmm. the offense for getting it done yeah. when it really, really, really counted, like w- when we finally got that final opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And you know I love that stuff. I love yeah. the clutch drives, the clutch moments, and Kenny's been doing that a lot. So, like, I don't want to undersell that. It's just we need more from this offense. So I'm period. with you. And, I, and this was, so after we had our talk, you know, on the show and stuff Monday, man, I went back, watched some more tape, and I was just thinking, I'm like, I get why we weren't on the same page 100% on Monday. Our team, as a whole, we're stuck in a unique spot. We're good enough that we're going to win a ton of football games, which we've already seen, which is what my point was on Monday, right? 3-2 and two this season, 10-4 and four over this stretch, 7-2 down the back half. But that's for the 80% of the league we're going to face. What you were focused on was the select four teams that we probably see I'm in the Super to win Bowl. A right. Which I'm with you on. So this was the disconnect. You can either wage the house on trying to catch these four and if you get them great, but if not, you ruin this floor that we have or which which was what I was on, we have you on this floor here. Until it continues to jump to this, because the biggest difference to me has always been those elite teams have the quarterback. We literally have everything else. We're trying to see if Kenny can be a Mahomes, a Burrow, a Allen, a Hertz, right? And that is the biggest difference right now. But when we're talking about formulating a roster, patience, who bringing in, what type of moves, those are some of the things that I do feel like is the disconnect because, yes, we could be an aggressive front or an aggressive team and come out first 15. We're trying to air it out. And, yeah, you have a better chance of scoring 30 points. But on the flip side, you also have a better chance of putting yourself in a hole, right? Interception, forced fumbles, turnovers. As a whole, we would all agree our team isn't built to come from behind two scores. But we have shown that we can win in one score of games. And we've shown that in got to have it, we can either come back or hold a lead late in games. And that's been shown through this span. So that's the weird conundrum that we're kind of in right now. Of we're going to keep winning games, bro. We're going to keep winning games. And it's going to keep being ugly. And it's going to keep being this non-30 version. But the big issue is still going to maintain when we're trying to win a Super Bowl. How do we get that? But we can't get there without the prerequisite of wins, playoffs, then we get in that convo. So I could live with that if the offense looks like how it did end of last year because we actually had a flow. We actually yeah. moved the ball. We actually kept the defense off the field. Yeah. Also this year, mm-hmm. how we went up against the Raiders as an yes. offense. I could live mm-hmm. with that. Browns, Ravens. Yeah. That's like, dude. I mean, if you well, early if you Ravens, wanna... early right the the first half Ravens and probably to the middle yeah, point of third of quarter, what, right? The, the last two drives and it, it, I mean, one of the reasons we got past the fifty was because of the special teams playing. Gunner yeah, very returning it for like twenty yeah, yards. Very true. So like outside of yeah, what the last yeah. three, four, five minutes, our offense was looking bleak. It's yeah. just we needed those crazy defensive plays but and also, whatnot. T.J. Also, Watt and the pass rush going crazy. The Ravens drops. Also, to but get those who, opportunities who, on who had more turnovers also? Uh, the Ravens did. Think about all the games that we win. What is the common denominator with the turnovers? We typically win the turnover margin. Again, okay. Hey, that's, like, so, like I said, it's not pretty. The offense but that's what we say. Oh, 100%. But that's what we're saying in the sense of there is no magic, oh, just change this one thing and now we have the answer. Whether it's coach, quarterback, scheme, we're still going to go through a natural progression of this. But what I'm saying is we just got to be careful that while we're chasing these top four, that we don't lose sight of what we currently are Simply doing. winning games. Right. Correct. Because I'm with you we can't get there without this. But a lot of teams blow this up chasing that. Sure. And they spend the next decade plus trying to even get back to where they were. And that's the one thing that we've been able to avoid. But at the same time, it doesn't need to be confused with complacency. And that's the difference, too, because, sure, people will say, oh, no losing season. That's complacency. No, not no losing season. Every time it's the end of the season, going into the final game of the season, playoffs have always been on the line for us. That is a very different conversation than just no losing season. Those are the differences, right? Because you can never even get a chance to have a playoff victory if you're not even getting a chance to make it to the playoffs. And that's the one, like I said, 
not complacency, but at the same time, we acknowledge we still need growth. We still need to be better, but we got to be careful of how we go about it. And that's the part where we all trying to figure that thing out. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I feel like with Tomlin, with the players that we got, that should be the case. Now, and yeah. that's the question. With Canada as the OC, are we mm-hmm. going to hit that next level? We'll see. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the only thing we got right now. Yeah. We're not firing, obviously. So I hope and pray to God this next week, Rams, we get Deontay back, we get Muth back. Canada could be better. Kenny gets better. Everyone gets better. And, and the think offense about is better. It, and, that, and that could happen. Like I said and think about uh, on the Monday with the Bears. Too, bro. We got to see it flip around there. But think about the beautiful part is this, right? You named three legitimate reinforcements, or, or no, excuse me, two legitimate reinforcements on offense, right? In terms of Deontay Johnson, a Pro Bowl receiver, and Pat Frymuth, who we think is at least a top five, top ten receiver, right? Or in that combo. We need to feature more. Fair enough, but or he has the potential to be in that combo. We'll throw it like well, that. Well, he, he was going into the season. It's just we haven't gotten yeah. the ball at all this, like, at all. Yeah. So when we talk about can the offense be improved, and we're asking ourselves what opportunities or what options do we have? Well, we know at least in the short term, we have two very legitimate options that should come here and give us an immediate return on our investment. Better than a trade, because a trade, the guy got to learn the playbook, right? Deontay's already been in this offense. Moose already been in this offense. They've both already worked with Kenny and Canada. They already have familiarity. So that initially is help. We know as a team overall, we're going to get Cam Hayward back eventually, right? That's another added element to this thing where it's like, yo, not only are we getting help on offense, but even more help on defense. So it's like we got pieces. We got resources here. We just got to stay the course. And I think that's the part that is kind of challenging because, like we said, we'll win a ton of these ugly style games. But we're looking at what we need to get to. And we're like, how do we get there with this current situation right here? Right, with the offense looking like this. That's legitimate. And the secondary looking like that. Now, secondary, I think, could be a quicker fix. You just play JPJ a little bit more. And I would agree with you there. Broderick Jones also getting more opportunities. I think that both of those guys. I think he solidified himself. Yeah, but think about it, right? Are those not two legitimate options in-house that can help this team be better? Sure. So that's the whole thing. It's Maybe like Canada can get the Elon Musk like super chip in his brain or something like that. But once again, right? Less about outside, more about inside. We got answers right here. We just can't lose our mind on it. We gotta let it develop. We only five games in this thing, and we sitting at three and two, number one in the, in the North. While we're going through all of these moving pieces, yeah, it's beautiful, right? I, I mean, because I, I, I am, I am kind of like fed up with the offense. Mm-hmm. Um, I am. So if this is the worst the offensive look all season, which I anticipate so. this Let's is. Let's hope so, because we, we just got two samples of the Texans game and then this one back-to-back after having a good one with the Raiders. But you think of it in the small context. I think of it as a global context. First half of last season, second half of last season. You I'm compare so. second half of last season to first half of this season, that's not apples to apples. It's apples to oranges. Pose by, now let's see where they're at. We've already said that they were better this year pre-buy than they were last year pre-buy. And that's what they're saying, man. Offense is all over the place. Statistically, it's, we've already we've already ooh. won more games. Statistically, we've already won I more games. I think we've got some better we breaks. We have already I think won we've more got games. Some better breaks. I'll it, be honest. Does it but at the end of the day, are we gonna go back and say take that one off the board? Hell no. No, so, I, I am so happy we're we, better than I understand this year how than the last NFL year. works. All yeah. these wins matter so much because yeah, yeah all of a sudden you can flip okay. it on a dime. Because we did that last year. And you year. think about well, you talked about the Bengals two years ago and they went to the Super Bowl, right? And we they were one win ahead of us, right? And they just got hot at the right time, got a chance, and then from there they went on a run. We said even last year, man, if we just had one extra one, we had that opportunity to go on that run. Yeah. And now we're getting those extra wins right now. You don't yeah. think we're gonna be better at the end of the season? You don't I hope think so. think about I hope, I hope when so. have we ever had a team here with Coach Tomlin that we've ended the season worse than we started the season? I'm with you. The only question is the offense. That, that's that's my thing. The offenses have been under him as well. When have we ever with Duck Mason? I'm just saying again, Pickett, goes, goes back me? to the disconnect. I, I want yeah. championships though. I, I I want next level with this. Like offense. we said, we can't get there without here first. Fair. Fair. That's all. But I feel like that's that's definitely what the disconnect is. I'm with you. We got to get there. That's the ultimate goal. But we got to just be real smart about how we get, how we go about doing that without ruining what we still love here. Because that's a slippery slope, man. And you know that. Yeah. I like it though, baby. I like it. Man, we ain't even, get, we ain't even start the show. How we start the show. You hit us with a topic already. Dig. 
Shout out to I you, wasn't baby. trying. I, I, I like I like doing energy, research man. on the final play, the game winning pass. No, nah, it's, it's Who real. deserves the credit? It's real. You was bent. Th- man, we couldn't just the offense as a whole. It could have just be that. We no, well, we I scored. saw Kenny's quotes, and I was like, <laughs> oh, man. he So he did audible pickings on that go. Oh, right so you was ready to fire something but up? Then, no, 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 no. You, you got to listen you, to Were you ready to fire comment. something up? When you first see the quote, were you go fire something up? I just retweeted it. So. <laughs> but you, you do have to listen to the full quote. He says, we prepared for this all week. And then Canada spoke today on it and basically said the exact same thing as Kenny. So it definitely was... Uh, a, a group effort there, we'll say, yeah. from the coaching and also the players. I'm just glad that everybody was on the same page, man. And it worked. And it worked because that's half of the battle. Think about this, right? You did your research to find out the bottom of it, and it turned out that both coach and player were on the same page. Both were responsible. But at the end of the day, player still has more responsibility because he had to make the check. Deliver Pickens the throw, gotta right? get open too. And p- what, as a whole, though, players still took more responsibility in the outcome than just Matt Canada calling it. Yeah. So, and that's what I want. I do want that. But yeah. but this is what I've been trying to explain to you. Every time we talk Canada, it's less about coach, more about player. You've answered it. I've answered it. We are seeing it. Well, here's my thing. As long as Kenny can have all these audibles and checks at the line, as opposed mm-hmm. to just getting this play and we're just mm-hmm. going to run it, and even though I see it's probably not going to work, now, we just got to run it. But now, once again, this is not the first game that that has been available to him. This is just the first game that it was big enough controversy that the Kenny supporters actually cared enough to deep dive into this. Prior to that, no one cared about it because if it was a good play, it was nothing that took place prior to. So everybody just said, good play, Kenny caught it. Bad play, it's on Canada. This has been a part of this offense, though, bro. And that's what we've been trying to explain at times, but it's like, it's the narrative. You know what I mean? I, I can't say any time we've had a good The majority play. I've, of I've said the that time. I, you can't say I, I've said <laughs> that. I, Kenny has been calling the good, only the good plays up to this point. You can't say that. Because I, I gave Canada a ton of credit no, no, for the Raiders game. No, no, I, said, I, was you, like, I, I was like, man, you know, this, this is nice. You know when I speak, I'm not talking exclusively about you. Because you're a hybrid as well. You're diehard, but you're like, deep. you're deep die. Yeah, it's, it's deep. a different vibe to it. Like, you still got some some some, some little, little, you know, little something on yours. The other ones, they just all the way there with it. But, Chess, we know the masses, they would try to separate it like that. Good stuff happens, it's on Kenny, it's on Pickens. Bad stuff happens, it's on Canada. But this has been a part of the offense. When we talk about certain players running across the middle of the field, that has been a part of the offense. Stretching the field has been a part of the offense. We're just getting it executed. And when it gets executed, now we get a chance to highlight it, talk about it, and feel good. But this is why we keep saying at the same time, like, bro, you got to be a little bit patient just so they can get on the same page. Because we've seen if they're on the same page, bro, that's a big time play. And it was multiple big time plays that happened in the game behind it. Just gotta trust the process, man. Gotta yeah, trust the process, let's, man. Let's pray it continues. Gotta trust the process, bro. That's all I got for it. Man. It's, it's just hey. Right. We yeah, we need to see Canada, Canada, yeah. this whole offense, just get on the same page and roll. It's all we got right now. Th- it's and, all we got. And think about it, Deke. I'm Canada's biggest fan right now. But but think about this though, Deke. This is kind of where we are different. You know how you'll believe in a rookie as soon as you see him and you're like, I love him, I trust it. And, you know, I'm real hesitant. I need to see you do it over and over and over and over. That's how I feel about this situation. It's like, yo, that was cool, but I need to see it a lot more often for me to truly believe that this is sustainable. Because right now, it was a flash. And as I've said, everybody can make a flash. Everybody is talented flash. enough. I mean, we got yes. to give credit yeah. for, the, for the clutch moment. But it's like everybody can make a play. The dudes that can repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, and when the stakes are higher and more people know what's going on and you can still make them plays, that's what we're trying to see if Kenny and Canada are capable of. We've seen them execute touchdown plays before. It's just far in between. We need more consistency, and that's going to be the big question. But once again, for the people that say Kenny isn't capable, for the people that says Canada isn't capable, we have examples even in this situation that both are capable if they're on the same page and they execute. And that's just been my stance the whole time with both Kenny and Canada. I think they both can get it done, but they both got to be locked in. Because at this level, you don't have a lot of time for mistakes. No. If you miss that read, Kenny, that's a you getting sacked. And that's us talking about Canada. You suck. Why'd you call that? Correct? 
That's what I mean. You should have thrown in a little slant or but something. Would that we, be, we bail but think about it. Would that be on Canada if he told Kenny you could check it and Kenny just missed the check? No, we'll be running with the narrative of, man, they will never let Kenny check anything. We will never let Kenny do nothing. And we're like, yeah, they do. He just got to call it. And that's, like I said, for both of them dudes, man, because Canada got to be better. It's times where he's calling some routes. The four hitches on, was it third and eight? I get it. That's terrible. That, that's, that, that, that it doesn't give you, yeah. you don't give Kenny it any It doesn't options. give you that's a terrible. lot. I'm with you on that. It doesn't give you a lot. But I do like later on in the game when he came back and said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put three by one formation to the front side, and I'm going to fast release Jalen Warren out the back door, get him the ball quick, and that's when he makes the guy miss picks that at 15. More. I've been calling for that. I'm with you on it. We flirt with it. These, we did it on occasion. Can't tackle one. We do it on occasion, but we need to feature it more. So, once again, though, it's not like we've never seen it under Matt Canada. It's not like we've never seen him call it or execute it. It's just not consistent enough. That's what I've been trying to explain. It's like, bro, we got talent across, but the consistency from up top and on the field has to be better. Otherwise, we're going to be in this little phase of we're going to win, 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 get the occasional upset, get blown out by the really, really good teams. Or we'll be able to fight really, really close. And if, you know, if everything goes right, we might get up out of that stadium with a really good team. Like we did Buffalo that one time, right? We three sacks by TJ Watt, the turnovers and all stuff. And it was like, yeah, we won by three points. God dang. All right. We don't want it to be like that. We wanted to get to where we blowing teams out. And that's... Like I, said, I don't even need that, too. to be honest with you. I, I, I just want a competent offense. And yeah. I thought last year, end of last year, even though it wasn't style mm-hmm. points, it was a competent offense no, that I thought facts. we could win with. Facts. Because of how we were doing it, how mm-hmm. we were playing complimentary football. And we actually did win with it, right? We did. Yeah, we did and it, it. It's just, it was, mm-hmm. it was a way I thought you could win. Because we were running the football successfully. Kenny would come up clutch, third mm-hmm. downs. He'd, he'd hit those guys and everything. And then the, I say the defense was actually better at that point last year compared to where we are right now. It was across the board, yeah. Yeah, so like it, mm-hmm. we could do that. We could do that. I don't care yeah. about the thirty points necessarily. I just want a competent offense, and yeah. we've we've gotten competence for the most part. Yeah. What four out of five games this year thus far? Yes, I do agree with you. I also think philosophy wise, we are on a different page offensively. I don't think our mindset. And this is based on what we see. Is, we're is not it because our to, line suck? I don't know. I think of it as we're a young team offensively. And as I said earlier, we're not built to come back from a ton of adversity. How do I minimize adversity? No different when Lamar first started taking over for the Baltimore Ravens. They would cut possessions. They're going to make you have to execute every single time you get the ball. But how would they do that? They didn't get about throwing it 50 times. Man, they was going to run it, run it. They might punt, but they're going to run it, run it, run it, and make you have to execute. They're going to play defense and special teams. You look at our recipe from last season when Kenny took over, and after the bye week when we had that shift and where we are now, our mindset is still the same. The philosophy is still the same. It's just the way it looks because we're at the beginning part versus last year we were at the end part. That's to me, is the biggest difference. But the mindset is still the same. We're trying to minimize their possessions. We're going to create turnovers because that's what we do. And we're going to make sure that we don't make the mistake at the end. In the games that we've won, we did not make the mistake. The games that we've lost, we made the mistake. San Fran made the mistakes, right? Texas. Yeah, we didn't make them in the end. We made them way too made, early. What, but, the either way, we made the, but either way, we made the mistakes though, right? Yeah. Texans, halfway point, we make the mistakes. That's on us. But shoot, would it have surprised you? The whole scenario in that second half, third quarter, Texans game, right? We kick the field goal, we get the stop, we come right back down. That pivotal fourth and one. Yeah. If they get that and we go ahead and score, it's a different outcome, and we all know this. Yeah, it came down to that. But literally, that's the type of stuff that we're saying the difference between us being three and two versus four and one. And this is what is having a bad or a slow developing offense. So that's all I'm saying is, man, we'll get to what we saw last season at the end of last season, but it's just the beginning part of this season. So we, it doesn't just – I wish it was like that, but it doesn't. But this is where I we're supposed that. to see that growth, though. And I this is that. the time for me where I'm like, anything that I've been feeling optimistic about in terms of this offense, this is where I'm like, uptick starts here. We should see clear – Okay, these yeah. next – Three, four weeks. Absolutely. Rams game. No, 100%. Coming off a of bye. Number one, first off of the bye, you should always look good off the bye. Then after that. Deontay coming back. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's things like that that I'm like, yo, we're going to be all right. We just can't get crazy, crazy at this early part, you know? Because think about it, man. After two games, we was ready to make major moves. Three games, like, bro, we don't even know what we are just yet. 
but, I'm with you, but here, here's the thing. Luck, again, luckily the breaks went in our favor. Well, we could easily it's be a one lot. and four. And oh, 100%. We'd be, I mean, the offense would be the, the critical piece of why we're one and four. Indeed. If, if we were one and four, it's a different conversation. That would have been right? like last year. Because honestly, the breaks didn't go our way with uh -huh. some of those games. Offense, yeah, yeah maybe looked similar, mm -hmm. needed to do more. Yeah. But like the Patriots game that we lost, that was Akello on got defense, Moss, yeah. Gunner, mm -hmm. fumble on the punt, whatnot. Yeah. And we ended up losing. Now, mm -hmm. some of this stuff happened in this Ravens game. We, we fumbled. But they just made more mistakes, and Correct. we got out of the stadium yeah. with the win. Absolutely. So yeah, I, I it's one of those things where thank God we are three yeah. and two, but the offense just so, it still hasn't been up to par at this point. But uh, yeah, you're right. You I mean, we're we, we got a whole season ahead of us. So and, and think of it like hopefully this, it changes. Right? Think of it like this. You know, they always talk game of inches, and everybody always gets pissed off when we're like, yeah, if this, if this, if this happened, but then somebody says they don't ask how, they ask how many, and it's like every season is context, right? I'm sure the Indianapolis Colts. When Ben Roethlisberger tackles my man recovering the fumble from Bussy, right? And he's running it back. You don't think they look at that and be like, bro, this type of fluky. Like, well, that was fluky on Bettis' part, too. But, e but, but see, either way, it's like, bro, we're not about to ask and act like stuff doesn't no. happen. It's football. I don't complain about how that ball bounces. I just pray it bounces in my favor. But at the same time, you can't always hang your hat on that. But what we can hang our hat on is we create a climate that we create turnovers and that's just been off of the large sample size and we've also created a climate that offensively since the bye week of last year we've minimized the turnovers and that's something that we've been able to hang our hat on so for me i'm like man if we could keep that everything else is going to come along man you don't think george pickens is going to become a star it's like, bro, he's there cooking. He he's But it's like he's already emerging even more. So you don't think Kenny is going to get more comfortable after a performance like this? Where he literally is like, bro, you know what? I'm going to just start going to my guy. Yeah, Jalen Warren. When they say, hey, Jalen, man, we believe in you, bro. You know what, man? This is your drive right here. Go to work. That's you don't awesome. think he's going to have more confidence? You don't think Matt Canada is going to feel more confident doing those things, calling those things down when he's seeing it so. being rewarded? If I call the play for 30, if I call the jet sweep, everybody hates the jet sweep. Jalen Warren hurt the guy on the jet sweep, picked up 10. You don't think Canada's seen it? It's like, bro, he know what he's doing, but we got to execute it. And that's the thing for both of these days, players and coaches. As long as they're working together and executing like they're supposed to, bro, we got everything we want, man. Yeah, I love the pick it to pick and throws. I, I love that. It's just for me. I don't think we can be relying on that game in and game out because no, even Big Ben says, like, dude, that's not like a high percentage throw at all. Mm. But, I mean, it, it, it's awesome that time out, time because out. we have pickings, it kind now, of now, is a now, high percentage now, throw now, in a way. Now, now, are we really about to talk about high percentage throws? In no moments, we know what 7 and 8 no, was going to do. All I'm, no, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I don't think we can be relying on that as our sole offense. We, we need some oh, other no. things. Of course we do. And I feel like we will have and it, them. It does work, though. But, yeah. like, I mean, if, but, if but that's all of, we're doing. But think about it right now, though. We're watching an incomplete offense. Deontay Johnson is not out there. You don't think Deontay Johnson has a positive impact on this offense, whether Agreed. he's getting targets or not? That helps. You don't think that's going to take some coverage away from George Pickens? Agreed. As much as we love Calvin Austin speed, Calvin is not scared scary just yet in terms of full body receiver he's scary in terms of take the top off that's it right now so it's not a lot that's gonna draw attention away from pickens that will help that out and then he'll also continue to grow and get better also but i'm thinking of these tight ends i'm like man darnell's gonna get he's gonna get more opportunities he's gonna get more targets mooth we said man he needs to get more targets anyway so i'm like bro we got we we getting there they just young, bro. They young, man. Yeah. So I, I think where I'm at is I am excited about Deontay Muth yeah. coming back. Excited about Pickett's development, him having that mm -hmm. clutch moment in this last game to just build off of also Pickens yeah. just going off. What, I mean, what is he? I'm not paying that much attention to stats, but he's mm -hmm. probably got to be in the top 10 in receiving yards right now. Probably, yeah. He's got to be at least over 400 yards. He's had two games, like buck 20, yeah. buck 30 already. Mm -hmm. And he's been pretty consistent throughout the season, so he's yeah. he's got to be up there. I guess yeah, I guess that's the thing. It, it, can can Canada get these guys in better spots, put yeah. them in the best situations possible? Because mm -hmm. I'm excited about the players, yeah, and I think that naturally will help. But mm -hmm. can Canada get up to speed? Yeah, and we execute it. 
Got to go hand in hand, baby. Got to go hand in hand. I like it, man. I like it. Well, shoot, man. We're going to start the show like how we usually do on days where we ain't getting after it, man. It's one of them days today, D. It's because you got your college girl and I got my college girl. That's what it is, bro. I like it. I like it. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and start it like how we always do. Let us know where you're tuning in from in the comment section. We'll give you those big boy shout outs to start today's show. And make sure you hit that like button one time for the coaches. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so just yet either. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got a lot of supers coming in. Oh, yeah, we're going to tap in. We're definitely going to tap in. Knight Rider 16 brings up a great point. We got the seventh easiest schedule. We should win nine games. Yeah, I think the schedule only gets easier, too. Well, that's a positive then, man. I From like those, uh, yeah, these first five games that we've played. So you, we went through our toughest part, and we went three and two. We probably did, because, yeah, what do we got? I don't have the schedule on me. We got the Rams. Uh, we got the Jaguars coming let me, up. Let me see if I pull this up real quick. We also got the Titans, we got the Patriots, we got the Cardinals. Cardinals are yeah, definitely bro, starting bro, to come so, back so, down So there. check it out. Yeah, we got Tennessee still. We got Green Bay. So you got Jordan Love. Yeah. We're going to face... He, uh, he's regressed. You got Cleveland, Cincinnati, obviously, but you're going to face Dobbs in Arizona. You got Mac Jones or whoever they're going to play at quarterback in New England. They keep pulling them. Uh, you got they're, the Colts. Their offense is worse than us. Right. You got the Colts, Anthony Richardson, obviously. Uh, Cincinnati. If, he, if, he's healthy, if he's healthy, you're right. He probably will be. I think, I think they only said he'll be out like a month. Seattle, you got Geno. And then Baltimore again to end it. It's, n- it's probably just our division games and that and Seattle Gino, on the yeah. road. Yeah. That would be the tough ones. And as long as you split those, I mean, how? I mean, we're looking at, okay. what, 12 and 5? Okay. But yet, this is all while we're still just talking about, hey, offense, man, you can just get a little better. As we currently are, we still feel good. That's what I'm trying to explain. We're going to get to what we want to get to, bro. Now, we ain't talking about this continues into next season. That's not the convo either. But in terms of what I anticipate seeing from this offense coming out of the bye week, I do feel like we will be feeling very similar to how you talked about your feelings of last year. In the year where it's like, yo, we are competent, we're and, efficient, and we're doing what we need. And I'm good with that. Right. I'm not, this is not going to be an offense that's designed to score 30. I'm going to continue to reiterate that. They are not going to be trying to do that. But they will be a lot more efficient, man. I just want to move the ball early and often mm-hmm. in the games. Because yeah. people were complaining last year we weren't scoring enough touchdowns. We weren't scoring enough yeah. touchdowns. But how we were playing right. complimentary football, we You're didn't fine. need that. It was Absolutely. like, bro, we, we're fine. controlling this clock. Yep. We're keeping the defense uh, mm-hmm. well-rested. And then the defense is holding its own. Yep. And then we could take out another mm-hmm. big chunk of the game here, drive it down. That's it. If we kick a field goal, if we score a touchdown, whatever it is, mm-hmm. we'll win the game. No. And then like a couple of those late ones, like the uh, the Raiders – that's in like negative twenty degree weather. Yeah, it's just yeah, like it's, you're just you find a way. Just yeah, it's exactly. Find a way, bro. Find a way. And find we did, a way. and that was awesome. And then Ravens game. I mean, it was kind of the same way. Although find a way. we were better at running the ball. Now yeah. Boz did miss some field goals throughout. No, dude, that's because Tuck was in there. You know that, bro. <laughs> I mean, he missed a- any time. I think it was in both of those games, yeah, wasn't it? Because Tuck right was there. Tuck was there. Both of them games. So that that's, cost us some points. Too. Yeah, it, it ain't working this time though. That's all that matters. Uh, he's we'll amazing this year. Yeah, he's amazing. I won't bring up Matthew Wright again. I'm being serious. Like Boswell was amazing. Shout year. out to Brad Wing. Let's just go. Just shout out to Brad Wing, man. Hey, uh, he could have had a better game last week. <laughs> My man was fresh was, off the side. He was all right in the Texans game. My I thought man he was, pretty was good in the fresh Texans off game. the street, back to back. Come on, he bro. He was hitting some duds. He fresh off the street, man. <laughs> good to have Prez back. We got Kenneth Moses tuning in from Virginia Beach, the seven five seven. Duh, creep. Let's get it. And Brian Wilson from the two two eight Moss Point. Uh, Missouri, same city Devin Booker came from. Oh, okay. Shout out to D Book. MS might be Massachusetts, though. I don't know. All right. All right. Craig Ellis, Lancaster, PA, 717, as always. Shout out to Lancaster one time for the culture. Camo Kid. Uh, that babe, bro, that right. Uh huh. Uh-huh. From the 804 Colonial Heights, VA, but it's always the 757. He know what time we owe. Duck Creep. Duck Creep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. His Texans hey, lost I, a nail biter to the Falcons. They did, they did, and I did want to stop all this the crib talk. Just had me thinking about that that Drake album for all the dogs because you know he shouted out the crib a couple times up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So just, He's from there. I thought. I thought no, he was no, from no. Can- Drake is Canada. Drake is for a fact not from there. He was just shouting it out. It's a vibe. You know how I go, bro. It's a little spot, man. It's a cool little place to be. You know, so we got a little action down there. But yeah, man. So so you know, I've been I've been heavy on my fall of the dogs. He's a city hopper though. No. He is, he is, and he's on our city right now. Okay. Now it was weird because initially when I saw Virginia Beach as the title, I'm like, now you know, push T gonna smoke if you got any negative to say. You seen what happened last time? 
but he showed love, so I'm like, all right, bro, I, I rock with the album then, cause I actually like Drake. I like his, I like this version of Drake, the rap version. The you know, I'm gonna talk nasty to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want you. I don't want friendly Drake. I want that one. That's my one right here. So yeah, man, shout out to the crib though. Mm-hmm. John Easton, this is a good point. Uh, he says four one two craft and Ben won a lot of games the same way we are now too. Mm-hmm. Clutch factor. Now I will say this: uh, Ben was Ben though, like. It's like even though we win ugly, you know you know what you're getting out of your offense long term. You know what you're getting from seven. Right? Over time, the first seventeen games. Did you know that we had a, a much better team built around seven, way a lot more support. I'm just like, it's, it's, let's kidding. not discredit what seven was doing though. Like there was a reason we won Super Bowls. Like we were six and ten the year before, but <laughs> we actually had a good running game. That defense was a lot better for sure. For those sure. Those first two years. It, it honestly, we we played ball. Nah. Ben's first two years, like we did, end of twenty twenty two. That's yeah. that's what that's what got me like so hopeful about Respect. this offense and how we could win games and yeah. how the offense could look good and be a part of it. But four out of five games this year, it, it just feels like we've been winning in spite of them for sure for the most part. Outside of that final drive this last game, because nah. what that Browns game like. Didn't we get negative seven yards in the fourth quarter? Yeah, we did. <laughs> and we found a way. We found a way. And the crazy part is this, though, right? On paper, you would say that the Browns should have a better offense, though, right? And I look yeah, at that I offense. Thought, I thought Kenny outplayed Watson uh, oh, that game. That, and that's what I'm saying, though, right? End of result in this Ravens game. You see what Kenny I'm saying? Kenny outplayed Lamar. I but mean, that's part of my thing where I'm like, is our offense, as I know, is not consistent. But the talent, we're seeing it in those moments where it shows up and it outdoes what it's going against. Now, granted, we don't, they ain't got to face our defense, and I think that also is a big part of it. But that's the beauty of a team. It's a salary cap league, man. Something's going to have a, We're going to have a weakness somewhere. I'm just glad that our strength right now is carrying us until our weakness continues to improve. Yeah. But that's the NFL. Nobody's going to have a God squad. If anything, that's to my point where I think I think Kenny's the guy for us. I think Kenny's going to work out for us long term yeah. because he is he's he's going up against these dudes and he, he looks fine. Like the passes he's that's making, like these these are mm-hmm. legitimate passes out here. Mm-hmm. All right, we need. Uh, oh no no no, not supers yet. Sage and Patel. I'll say a few more of these. Nine one eight Tulsa Oklahoma. What's good, everybody? Let's go, let's go. Shout out to Tulsa Oklahoma. Let me tap in real quick, man, because I got. X Concepts tuning in from the 724 Claridge PA. He says, has Gunner been banned from PA yet? Man, no, nah, don't do that to Gunner just yet, man. Let him live for a little bit longer, all right? I like Gunner, man. He has some plays. He just made the bad play, and you can't make the bad play. But shout out to PZ Jr. Saved him. That's good teamwork right there, man. If you really my teammate, bail me out if I make a mistake, bro. That's, that's how you look at it. If you really if you really rock with me, Dick, if I make a mistake, have my, have my back. I'm going to have your back. You have my back. All right. <laughs> Was PZ's comment to OBJ as uh, disrespectful as it came off? What did he say? I missed I, this. Whoa, 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 I think what he happened? told him, like, you got to go be a family man now or something. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> well, hey. No, I, I did not. I like it, though. I like it. All right. All right. Hey, I wanted to... Uh, read a couple of these comments Let's because it, this goes back to what we were just talking about with Pickett yeah. and Lamar. X Concept says, Lamar went off, his team killed him. Lamar really impressed me. I was yeah. surprised. I do think Lamar played pretty well. He did. Like he definitely 80 did. to 90% of that yeah, game, he but he made the crucial turnover at mm-hmm. the end and Pickett didn't turn the ball over yeah. and made the game-winning touchdown pass. Yeah. So it, it's, I, I get I get what you're saying. Like Lamar and that mm-hmm. Ravens offense looked like it was going downhill for most of the game. Yeah. And Lamar was making nice passes. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he, I thought he he did show me something. Like his accuracy has improved no, a lot since when I he didn't came leave about that game thinking Lamar played bad. And no. I'll say this also, just as a pass rusher, a strip sack is not on the quarterback, bro. No, I know that's what every, like the narrative everybody runs with. Oh, he turned the ball over this. It's like a strip sack is on your dig on offensive line, bro. If Lamar is worried about the rush, he's not going to fumble. He's not going to get a strip sack. But then he's not going to be able to throw that ball down that field. Right. That's the word thing. I'm just like, yeah, people be getting on that a lot. Oh, man, turn the ball. I'm like, no, that's strip sacks, baby. Strip sacks are different. They are different, bro. But no, Lamar, I thought that was one of the best versions I've seen. It reminded me, low key, of when he was in that space last year before he got hurt. Uh, I think it was that Colts game we saw him where he really started to like, come through the air and it was like, all right, anticipating, throwing it, leading, like, okay. 
It'd be interesting to see, though, if he can continue that because that is the difference of the next tier of players, man. They can light that thing up consistently like that, man. Let's hop in some of the other supers, man. If you cool with that, unless you had, uh, uh, sorry, you said you had a couple years reading. My bad. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. All right, all right. Okay, we got. Yeah, hey, hit go that like button one time on the front of this thing. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so just yet. He says, "Just wanted to wish the great Barry Melrose a great retirement from the NHL." Oh, Barry retired. I like Barry Melrose. I know Barry man with the yeah, with the comb back and the suit. It's, it's an unfortunate retirement. I think he's mm. got Parkinson's. They said. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that blows. Yeah, that sucks, man. That definitely sucks. Yeah, he's he's a staple, bro. Like the hockey guy, right? In terms of media. No, like when I think of Barry Melrose, I'm like he's kind of like the Scott Van Pels, the Stewart Scott, like Lee Corso, yeah, college football. like like staples for a particular Jay Bellis, sport. The college basketball, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dick Vitale, like you know, like yeah. that's the staple. That's a guy. Yeah, yeah, that that definitely sucks, man. Louis G. Deke is pissing me off, Moats. No. His Kenny defense is 100% based off his pit love. Never seen a man twist so hard to defend a bogus take. Give him a slap for me. You ain't even got to tell us you did it. Jesus, Louis. I'm going off of what I'm seeing on the field. I'm seeing nice passes from Kenny. I'm seeing clutch drives. So if you guys just want to ignore that, do it at your own risk. <laughs> yeah, could he, could he be playing better throughout these first five weeks, throughout the whole game? Sure, but... Again, this what what's his, his 18th start or something? Now I did. I, I will 100% admit I thought it would be better than this coming out of the gate for 2023. But to your point, I mean, we're sitting here three and two, and hopefully after this bye, we get Deonte back and things are only looking up. And we've also made a switch at left tackle. Looks like going forward, that's going to be the move. So that potentially gives them some reinforcements. Like he already hits the prerequisites for me of stepping up and need to have it moments, mm -hmm. clutch moments. And then also just the natural arm strength that he does have and some of the professional throws that I see. Mm -hmm. like he can do that. Watch out. You know I ain't never had no issues with his arm strength. That's, yeah, that ain't my fight. That ain't my fight. I'm like, he has plenty of arm strength, man. He improved it, if anything. Uh, Tito, good vibes. Yeah, because like, what, what, what are those Calvin Austin throws he he made? I know the one got interception mm -hmm. Texans game, but then the one got completed Raiders. Mm -hmm. Those are like fifty yard throws, bro. And I'm like, he could at least throw an extra ten, fifteen on this. Not he he got plenty on man. He got plenty on. Yeah, Tito, good vibes. Good guys beat the Ratbirds. Big Rod. We right. Shout out to the PZ interview. It's available now. And at the end of that day, Dick, he gave us who ride. Nice. Live, in person. Oh, my God. It ain't nothing like when PZ do who ride. It just hit different. The fans got a show. What, man? We was ready to go out there and beat everybody up. Yeah, there's over there spitting on Ravens fan. F you, punk. Yeah, F you, rat bird. Ah! It's PZ here. John Rye, TJ Watt for Deep Boy. Uh, He's got to be the gotta favorite. Got to be, right? And I like the fact that with his brother in the national media, we're getting that constantly put out there too because we know that's half the battle they'll michael parsons us to death they're gonna nick bosa us to death they're gonna miles garrett us to death right but now that jj has a Leave seat at the table we got an ally because every single time he at they neck he like just in case y'all know and hey, just in case y'all didn't know i ain't gonna tweet about it i'm gonna just tell you about it right here i love that because that's also what we need man we need people talking about it more that's half the battle because not every voter is gonna actually be tapped in some people are just you know, stat watchers. And he has the best stats. Yeah. That's the other thing. That's the other part. It's like, <laughs> if you want a stat watch, look at the stats. Oh, but, 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 it doesn't matter. It's like, yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, it does. Come on, man. Hey, shout out to you, Rod Doll. I just said he said he was doing the chant, the Who Rod chant while he watched the video. Hey, that's you a real one. You a real one for that. I like it. Robert Williamson, I think Canada was coaching the Pens last night. What happened? No, I said, I saw the Pens lost. From what it looked like, I didn't get to see the game. We were up 2 nothing, and then we gave up like four goals unanswered. And they actually had Fire Canada chance going in the stadium. How are them getting scored on on Matt Canada? <laughs> Everything on Matt Canada, man. If I argue with my wife, I'm blaming on Matt Canada. I'm telling you right now. I need more from the offense. I'm saying, hey, listen. I'm putting everything on Matt Canada to go for. No, man. I'd say that's more on the defense. Like, if you got two goals. It's just like, bro, it's a two-goal lead in hockey. What do we, like? They say that's the worst one, though. 
You can't win with two goalies. No, they say hockey? it's the worst one because the other team just starts playing with nothing to lose. You might be a little bit more tense because you're trying to defend the lead, but the lead's not that big. Goals could be scored. So, so you get in your own head, man. Just play. it is. That's just that's why the they game. say it's the worst lead. lead yeah, hockey. just just play. Low key though, I get it because that's how I felt about twenty one point leads in football. I hate to go up three scores because it is so hard to actually stay locked in. And you see a lot of times dudes get come back on. Because, yeah, like, all you're probably thinking about yes, is bro. not giving up the big play. Yeah. But then you're just letting them drive right. down on the field in and, two, three minutes and as with a the pass intermediate rusher, and short stuff. You're yeah. D-line, you thinking, I'm going to get my stats, so I'm going to rush the passer. Yeah, it's the worst situation, bro. You're always like, if you keep it within, like, 14, we got to still be rocking, which we got to still be locked in. That three is like, ah, dang. But at the same time, think about how that sounds. You wouldn't tell the pins, hey, man, we don't want y'all up to zip no more. Right. It's like, yeah, we want you in there, but that's the part you got to guard against, though. That human nature is uh, it's real. It's real. Scott having heck. Last six games of last year, we averaged 18 and a half points a game. Deke, I mm-hmm. hope that gives you perspective that this offense isn't that much far off from mm-hmm. than last year. No. Yeah. What, what, what are we averaging right now? Here's the thing. We have had some points put up from defense, though. Okay. I don't know where we're at on off. Wait, I, if I had to take a guess right now, top of my head, uh, we're probably around like 10 or 11. Okay. And you said it was at 18 last year? Yeah. So a touch not different? Yeah, but you know what those <laughs> offenses looked like last year compared to now. Like We're not even crossing the 50 in the first half. I'm just saying, we, we compared a, a full year sample size to just the first five games, baby. It was just a touchdown off right now. Let's get it up to at least that. I would like to, to be hey. better than 18 and a half, but... Can we, can we give us some time? If the offense just, is just moving the ball time, and keeping the time. defense yeah. off, I could live with that. I'm with because you, baby. there was an ebb and, ebb and a flow to it how we were doing was. things. It definitely was, man. Uh, okay. But like you said, that's, 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 that's going to always be, that's gonna always be the, the biggest issue right now. Which one are we chasing? Are we going to sell out and do everything to get this opportunity? or I just want to win games. Yes, we both just want to win games, but we don't just want to stay here. Yeah. We want to get to here. We just got to figure out how to bridge this part. Yeah. Without having the guaranteed, yo, he's already arrived. Kenny Pickett is a top five dude right now. Once that happens, yeah, that's the cheat code. That's the answer. We know that. But if you don't have that, we got to get it to where everything else is what it's supposed to be. Because we've seen those methods work also. My good Motes, love your and TG's perspective. Helps me understand it a lot better. When we was down 10-0, I wasn't losing my mind. We are working on it. JPJ, almost ready to start. TA is not ready. Mm, okay, okay, okay. He did say that. <sighs> he did say that, yeah. I get it. I get why he says it. But at the same time, man. It's time. And it's not just that it's time. Like, when I watch... And I got a film review coming out on PZ Jr. from this game, man. Um, just watching them. Multiple scenarios, different techniques. The consistency is showing up. His detail of work is showing up, whether it's man, whether it's zone, whether it's press, whether it's condensed red, whether it's midfield, whether it's backed up. All of those different scenarios, when you're talking about if a guy's ready or not, it's really about trust. Because especially at cornerback, you're one – Oh, coach, I didn't know, or coach, I forgot, and that's a touchdown. So at that position, you want to make sure that this dude is all the way locked in on every little thing. But we've seen him growing in terms of his role. I want them to make him the starter coming out of the bye week. If they don't, I at least want him out there 50% of the defensive snaps because, to me, he's shown that he's capable of doing it. And the guys that are out and there, that's and the guys that are out there in front of him have opened up the door. They Absolutely. haven't been out there playing lights out in coverage and in the run fits because they go hand in hand. And that's been one of my bigger issues, not just with one person, but with multiple people on that back end. It's like, bro, we got to be better tacklers, man. And those are some of the things that I do feel JPJ has just a higher floor for. I think he could do it a lot more consistently. Not saying it's going to be perfect, but I think it could just be better in that sense. And in terms of his ability to cover, we are seeing whether it was him matching up versus OBJ multiple times last week, whether it was Devontae Adams a couple of times. All these games, he's come in and matched up in different areas of the field. But the one part that has consistently shown is he's produced. 
He hasn't gotten uh, any major penalties. He hasn't given up any major uh, plays. He hasn't blown any calls. It's like, man, it's nothing else is keeping him off. It's not a lack of ability because you can make a case. He is your most athletic corner. Yep. Pat P used to be, but Pat P is old. We know that. We talk about a young JPJ versus a guy that's in, you know, double digit years. Yep. Yeah. So that's why for me, I'm like, that's the move that I'm ready to see coming up, man. I'm ready to trade for a corner too. Uh oh. Get it. Get another young corner in here. Pair him up with JPJ. That's what I want. I mean, is, is that? I mean, you know what? That was one of the bye week moves. Let's just talk about the bye week move. You want to talk about the bye week move? That's what you want right now. Uh, That's what you it's want up right to, now? We still got supers, but it's up to you. We'll, we'll, we'll mix them in. We'll, we'll mix them in because okay. you already led to that. So let me let's let's get that off real quick, and we could come right back to these. Okay. We ain't going away from. We will come right back to it. But is that how you feel though? Absolutely. I, I know you, so so. Is it the guy that I'm thinking it is? P? Uh, S? Two? We, 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 we PS2 I don't know it? if we're getting him because I saw on Twitter. Now, who, who knows how legit some of these accounts are uh, because everyone's blue verified. Everyone looks yeah, legit. I'm scared to even like when I be on Twitter and I'm just like, I don't. Blue check be 5,000 followers and then no check be 100,000 followers. I'm like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I might need to start my own reporting account, nah. actually. Big Deek News. Started on Twitter. It sounds like report shit like confirmed Canada. And if you say it was with, actually pissed about game winning uh-huh. touchdown. Say it with like a lot of like fancy words like viral. through my through my research and my journalism, I've come to the conclusion. I've drawn this conclusion. Yeah, you say stuff like that, yep. Anyway, that account said that Broncos aren't interested in trading Patrick Sertan, but pretty much everyone else is on the table, and including Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton. I can't remember what the other name was. Any interest in them boys? Judy and Sutton? No. None. Or Sutton? I yeah. do have a receiver name for you. That could be intriguing. Okay, okay. Well, let's start with Sertan. What was, so Sertan, yeah. they're saying, is not Trade available. for him. If he's available, trade okay. a first-round pick, trade a first, a second, throw Levi Wallace in. Do, do whatever you can to make that happen because you have Sertan okay. and Joey Porter Jr. for the next five years. We feel great. Six years, yeah. We feel great. Secondary should be awesome. And with Levi Wallace and Patrick Peterson – being on these short-term deals, like we can make Pat P a cap casualty after mm-hmm. this year, and it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Levi Wallace with his cap, I'm I'm just trying to add them both. Though I think it would be around like 11 million. Those two mm-hmm. take up, so you could put that towards the Patrick. How many Sertan years deal. is remaining on Levi's deal? This is it for him. So then it wouldn't be. He's any type, done. Oh, you're saying if we made the move now? I'm thinking about all season. Good call. Yeah, yeah. yeah make the move like, now oh, because right now. I but think yeah, if you right. trade for Shatan, what I'm saying is you're yeah, gonna have to give right him a now. contract extension right. in the off in the off season. season. Good call. So Levi Wallace won't be on the books. That'll be four million cleared up, and then you cut Pat P. I think that could be like another five or six cleared up potentially if yeah. you cut him. Put that towards Shatan. Obviously, you're probably gonna have to pay him close to twenty million mm-hmm. for a top end quarter. Oh, Mark Khan can make that work. That's that's as, chump change. As though. we've seen, we don't mind paying TJ what we pay him because he produces how he produces. Pastor Tan is he's in that convo. Not not no not not, not TJ Watt convo. Let me rephrase that. When we talk the elite corners, right? The gold standard, a lot of people bring up Sauce Gardner, but the one that's unanimously talked about is Patrick Sertan, the second. That that is real, man. And he's getting a bad yeah. rap this year, luckily, because of how mm-hmm. bad the Broncos' defense is. So yeah. Maybe you could get get his stock a little bit lower right now. Yeah. Well, you have to give up. Yeah, but he's the one. It's like, yeah, I understand why they would say everybody's available but him. Because, yeah, I would not. Maybe be. we can give him a, a good enough offer they can't refuse. Make him offer they can't refuse. You know how it goes, man. Would you give up fir- two firsts? I can't do that. I can't do that. I said they can't refuse. I can refuse that one. I ain't give, bro. I got JPJ one, uh, one first. I'm good, man. I ain't giving you up too. We could just draft another corner. Yeah, I just draft me another but one, bro. Hey, I want our I, secondary to be good this year, bro. I, I think if you have Shertan and JPJ man, with listen, this pass rush, holy listen, hell! This pass rush, I'm finna come out here and say Desmond King, what's up, bro? Have you st- you, you know this playbook, Jack, man? All right, I'm tired of waiting. What's up? And I'm gonna let Levi and I'm gonna let. They tried giving him some time this last week. He he still is learning the playbook. That's the only issue right now. And I don't know him personally. I'm just going off what I saw on What are you doing? You put him on the outside. I'm just trying to figure out a way to get him on that field. We could start, you know. I'm with you on that because Chandler Sullivan was getting cooked too. Yeah, bro. And unfortunately, that has been more common than not. And Basically, I'm, everyone outside yeah, of JPJ was bro. getting cooked. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm cool with it being JPJ, Levi, and Desmond King. 
and I'm rotating Pat P in there, and we going to get it how we get in, and I'm going to say pass rush, y'all got to be great. Pass right rush, y'all got to win. Yeah. Nelson Aguilar. It, happens, it, 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 it happened a little bit too frequently for me. Even when they weren't throwing, I'm just like, bro, you're getting routed. Like, this, this, ain't, this ain't good for us right now. So that's my thing. But at the same time, pass rush, they got to win. We know the money is up there for a reason. We don't expect our corners to act like, you know, they getting 14 or 30 mil. Uh uh-uh. uh. Or what, what's Larry getting? Oh, and Joe, he in that what? Yeah. yeah, he's getting like a Okay. So it's 10 like, or 11. we ain't talking about our corners saying they getting paid like that. So I don't anticipate, I don't put them on that type of platform. The front, they're the ones I hold responsible for that back end. After four seconds, bro, that ball need to be gone. I don't got time for them to be covering five, six, seven, seven, dude, double move, re. No, that can't happen because we know what they are. They're good. Y'all front is great. I have a question for you. Uh-oh. Steven Nelson and Kelly Weatherspoon. We know they were formerly Steelers. And apparently this year, I haven't been watching them play in and play out, but they've been having Give me Steven Nelson. pretty good seasons for their respective teams. All, yeah. all I want to ask is like if – we had Steven Nelson or Kelly Witherspoon in Levi Wallace's spot. Do you think we'd be seeing the same, or you think they would legitimately be better? No, to me, Steven Nelson was a better player. But Levi had a really good last season. That's the thing that sucks. Levi had interceptions, and we get enamored with interceptions. Levi still has some similarities that were going on. It's on tape here. This is the same stuff that was going on tape at times in Buffalo. That's why we say he's a good number two, not a number one. We just hit him really well yeah. last year. Like he, he didn't get targeted as much as he probably should have. We, 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 got, we got blessed. You can make a case for that at times, yeah. Sometimes that is half the battle. Yeah, the man. only game I remember him getting torched yeah. was the Buffalo game. Sometimes that that's half the battle. But he's very fundamentally sound, and he plays with great effort, and that's the part that keeps him on that field. When you're fundamentally sound, you play with great effort, you don't have mental errors, I can live with, okay, that's a bad matchup. But you're going to do everything else right. Kind of like when we talk Pierre, when we talk Spillane, right? It's like, give me the dude that I know what I'm going to get every single time versus the guy that has elite ability. But the consistency is up and down. The mentally is he locked in and out is up and down. The desire to want to make a play is up and down. I don't have to question that with Levi Wallace. My thing with Levi, when I watch McCaffrey step around him, I'm like, that's not Levi not having an effort. That's just Levi being limited athletically. When I look at the cat from Cleveland reverse field and I'm like, Dang, that ain't Levi not having to want it. But you ain't just athletic. You ain't got that part. You watch him in coverage. If it's a vertical, he's staying on top of it. His issue is when they start breaking. That's why he's great in cover four. Because usually he want to be having a safety that you're breaking into. And he can stay top down on it. When he has to be responsible to break in, that's where the separation has been happening with him and with Pat. It's like they're good on the straight. But when it's here and here right now. The separation has taken place from that foot on the break with, you know, the majority of our guys not named JPJ. It's like, whoa, bro, we got to up, we got to be better there. But that's why I'm just saying, Pat P is how old and Levi, like I said, he won't never to that extent. So pass rush, that's the answer. They're going to be fine on five and 10 ends. It can't be the 12 to 15. That's too long for them because now they all the way opened up. Yeah. So when this, they can't do that right now. Not to that extent. And that's what we're getting hit on. Purdy was eating us up on it. Yep. Then we try to run our Tampa 2, and they pick on Cole Holcomb in the middle. They either going to throw it front side, or they're going to wait till it come in on the back side. Yeah. And when it doesn't, that's when our pass first wins. So, it's like we got what we need. We understand our strengths and weaknesses. Like I said, everybody has a strength and weaknesses. Everybody has it. You can't get to our weakness all the way. Because you got to protect T.J. Watt, Alex Highsmith, Larry Ogunjobi. When Cam come back, him too. We might even throw the occasional blitz in there. Yeah, That's how we hide our weakness. And it's been a great situation. That's the steal away. Welcome to Blitzburg, baby. Yeah, it's just crazy we had both those guys on this team. Facts, bro. And they both produced here too. Yeah, they weren't bad. They, they, they just, produced. They just had bad, particularly Akello. Yeah. Like, there's nothing we could have done about the well, last year he Just had throw here. it on the hamstring. We just put it on hey, the well, hamstring. I mean, he got injured, and yeah. then whenever he was out there, he was getting torched all over the place. So that that was a move that I think we all understood. You're cutting yeah. him. We're going to open up some calf space. Mm-hmm. But then the Steven Nelson one, that was the weird yeah. one because we were in cap hell. It was between him and Joe Hayden. Yeah. 
I'm with you. I, I think Nelson is the better though. of the three corners. Yeah, that was a, that was, and then people like went at him a little bit. And he's played good, yeah. both with the Eagles and then his two he's years a, with the Texans. He is a good player. We never had issues with him. The fans kind of turned on him when he just made the comment, you know, on the way out. Most people do though. He's just like, bro, y'all want me to take less? I ain't doing that. And yeah. then he's like, oh man, you ain't even like that. <laughs> you ain't no Joe Hayden. We like, God dang, now we're gonna shoot at the man because he just said I'm not taking a pay cut. <laughs> crazy that's what we do to us fans you know that's what we do it's like dang bro think he just awesome, said, I like got some of that he did he definitely did he tried to take it out on kitty i'm he like got a sack yeah. he definitely tried to take it i'm like bro you tried to you ain't slowed down or nothing he was like i'm gonna get me a body today <laughs> uh you still want to talk yeah who, corners? Who, yeah who else would you have though man jc horn I know we've mm-hmm. floated his name out there a him few times, times over the last couple of years. I'm a J.C. Horn fan, bro. But this would be the perfect time to do it. He's on IR with the Panthers, and I checked with the mm-hmm. league rules. You you can trade for guys on the IR. He's supposed to come back this year. I'm the burnt. Panthers are 0-5. This is a new I'm regime burnt, that didn't bro. draft him. What? I'm burnt on the, on, the, on the IR pickups, man. Will Jackson the third, man. No, this Y'all this told one, me he no, was going to come back. Y'all was like, oh, it ain't really hurt. I even I was even reading it like, oh, yeah, it ain't really hurt. This is a great move. And that thing sat there. And it just looked at everything. All them corners out there, hammies falling off. And he just sat there. And I'm just like, mm, you said he's hurt right now. I don't, I, mm, can I wait till he get? I just need to see him healthy for a second. That might be after the trade deadline, though. Sometimes you got to make moves like this beforehand. That's the William Panthers, Jackson. Panthers 0 and 5. That was William Jackson. Man, William Jackson was like, yo, make the trade. And it's, it's gonna cost it's, 12. It's gonna, gonna take here. less to get him in here oh. than a Patrick Sertan. But we believe he could get up to like the Patrick Sertan no, he's, he's type of caliber. If he's, he if he's he gets to stay enough. on the field, right. Yeah, he's definitely talented enough. Give him a third. Get JC uh, Horn in man, here. I'm doing that in a heartbeat. Where do we give him for Will Jackson a third, bro? Uh, I don't think much. Whatever right? we gave Wasn't him for him. It was the seventh because the contract. Yeah. But we ended up not having to pay all of it because he stayed on IR. But it's like, yeah, I don't want a ton of compensation in it if, it, if it's hurting, man. I'm scared of damaged goods. It's like if I went to the grocery store and this was the can that dropped on the floor, I'm probably going to put that can back and I'm going to grab the nice can that didn't drop on the floor, Deke. You want to talk about a guy that will be willing to tackle at the cornerback position. Oh, facts. He's definitely got facts. that. And then mm-hmm. he's got more oomph yeah, in his too. game yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of athleticism and juice than uh, Patrick Peterson and Levi Wallace. But also... Now, we know Pat P was a high pedigree guy, but Pat P is just older now. Yeah. JC is a way high pedigree player. It's kind of like when we talk Broderick and Dan Moore. It's like, yo, we'll talk the similarities, but at the same time, one's a former top 10, top I think 15 top 10. I think he was picked you know before I mean? yeah. 10, wasn't he? You know what I mean? So I'm like, just athletically, there's certain things that one can do that the other one just can't. So you're not down? Just because he hurt. I was, like I said, I was so ex- – Deke, you seen how excited I was for William Jackson last year. You see how excited I was. I was super excited. Like, jumping for Joe, I was like, yo, this is the S. We finally got what we were missing. Like, I love it. And I like the nostalgia part of it. Oh, yeah, you wanted him before the draft. Bings picked him up. Oh, you spent the block, came back. It, it, everything across the board it just made sense. Oh, he was disgruntled over there in Washington, man. You know it's chaos over there. They don't even know what name they want to call themselves. Everything made sense, Deke. Oh, you coming to Pittsburgh? Go play for a contender. You gonna be eager to come out here, man? You can't wait back in the division. And my man just was like, "Nah, bro, it ain't it ain't happening." You said be patient with this offense. I'm saying be patient with JC Horn. All right, you right, bro. You right. You right. I just don't think them apples is apples. I don't think them apples are apples, man. I feel like the apples always a little bit. But I'm a roll. A third with rounder. It. Can I get to a four, four, and a half? A, a, a half a fourth. Is he even? Can I get him on a conditional fourth? Are there even blogs writing about a trade with him? Is we we need a conditional fourth, man. Let me see. J C Horn yeah. trade. I mean, it makes sense. Zero and five for the Panthers. You said new, new regime. Re- yeah, new yeah. regime. New regime. Slow Horn. start. They got a new quarterback. Yeah, go ahead, tank, reset your roster, turn it over time. Come on. I'm seeing a lot of trade rumor blogs with J C Horn dating back to 2022. Mm, so nothing recent though nothing recent but it's there i mean i like jc horn though bro the reasoning's there I like if him. Shirtan is I being like floated out there a little bit why not horn yeah panthers are in a much worse spot than and the horn uh, broncos if, even if not horn, much worse even but. if horn was healthy i think horn has a lower asking price than Shirtan because Shirtan is a proven yeah that's all horn pro. hasn't done as yeah. much yeah Right. He's been hurt too much. Very true. And when he's been out there, it hasn't been to Sertan's level. Now, does that make you hesitant, though, knowing some of the injury history? 
I'm just trying to get them low. Fair, fair. I see. What it's, you, just, fair, it's just fair. all right. You're taking low some risk, risk but yeah, yeah. I fair mean, it may be not low risk because giving up a third round pick that is significant. But I, I'd be willing to take that risk for a guy yeah. like him. Yeah, especially with our secondary struggling a little bit. Like he could be a nice reinforcement. Mm-hmm. Maybe after week ten, you throw him oh, yeah. out there. What well, the thing is this? Anything that's even better than what we currently have is going to take our defense to another level because we already are good. We already have. Do you we know, bring back a Steven House? It's Texans just, keep losing. It's just always tough. I, I don't think he want to come back. He hates yeah, us. Yeah, that's tough, bro. <laughs> that's very tough. He hates us. It's, cer- it's certain things that happen, man. And how you looking at your 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 old squad? Like, nah, I'm cool a little. You all for a little while, bro. All right, maybe speak for experience. It took some time, okay? It'd be like that, though, bro. Well, if we make the trade, yeah. what can he do? No, that, that's the other part. You, <laughs> If they make the trade, you, you're disgruntled. You'll show up to work pissed off every day. That also can happen. Yeah, speak for experience, all right? That, that is also real. But, yeah, man, yeah. I just think that we probably won't see that one right now. But I'm all for it, though, because Steven fit what we wanted, man. We definitely did. Uh, Now what do we do? Is, what's, what's the deal with TG? Except I ain't heard from him. So okay. let's just keep rolling. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Back to supers, rolling. or you want to keep talking um, uh, bi week moves? Let's do. Hmm. Actually, we'll do a hybrid version. All right, let's sure. let's tap in a couple. People of, have complained before. Yeah, we, yeah. we read the super test too late. So right, yeah, right. So let's do a little that. hybrid. Do a little hybrid. It's the Bible. We'll try something new this time. Well, I had my bye week move or yeah. my thought that was at least one of them so mm-hmm. maybe you got something yeah so for me man i do actually have a couple um all right the first one man i kind of hinted to it i want jpj out there at least 50 percent of these defensive snaps if not starting i feel like he's more than capable i feel like he's more than shown that he is reliable he's dependable and his effort is there he's smart as heck and I love the fact that no moment is too big. Man, when you talk about playing against Odell Beckham, we talk about it as, you know, us in the media or even for fans. It's like, oh, it's Odell, it's Odell. But you imagine we actually lined up against Odell as a rookie? Yeah, sometimes that reputation like, oh, does matter. Right. Yeah. Even if he still don't got it like that. It's, it's still like, you never bro, know. that's Could, that's could he pull it out for Odell, one play against like, me? Bruh. But on multiple occasions, I'm watching how JPJ – is not just matching up with it. He's pressing it. When you say, I'm going to press you, you like, bro, what's up? I'm at your neck here. And to be fundamentally sound every single time. That's my other part. And like I said, it wasn't just this week. Because if it was just this week, it's a small sample size. I'm going to naturally have questions. I'm going to talk about that with Broderick. But as a whole for JPJ, I can look on multiple occasions and see when they've given him more how he's been able to produce. How he hasn't had the negativity. And I'm like, man, I want that more of. And like we talked about even what our regular corner situation. The next part is with Broderick. So this is the thing with Broderick, man. I thought he played really good on uh, Sunday. Like I said, dropping a film session on him and to highlight what he was doing, pass blocking and run game. The athleticism jumps off the screen. That's the difference between him and Dan Moore. Dan Moore, way more fundamentally sound as a floor right now but nowhere near the athletic ability that Broderick has. So when you're talking about me watching Broderick, even though he's facing a Jadavion Clowney, Jadavion Clowney is super athletic, long rusher, not elite, not great, but a good player. I'm watching how Broderick is able to irritate him by jump setting him. Yeah. You're not jump setting that dude unless you really believe you could dance with him because that's turning the fight on right now. Right. I'm watching them do that. I'm watching them vertical set. You're not going to beat him around the corner. I'm watching when they put 50 over there and try to bull rush him. He's anchoring on that. Then I see Jadavion Clowney try to get cute and say, I'm going to go wide alignment to trick you to make you think I'm coming out here and try to take you inside and may low-key pancake them. Now, granted, he tripped a little bit, but I'm going to call it a pancake. Who do you think's more washed, Clowney or Odell? I hate to say it. I think well, Odell, Because I was going to say, the way you're talking about Clowney, it. it's, it's Odell, like, bro. Hey, he's still got something. Yeah. Like, Clowney, Clowney won some reps, bro. Yeah. Like, as a whole, Broderick, I thought, won the day. But Clowney had some moments. It just didn't hurt us. Kenny, I know on the one, Kenny was able to see it, get away. We were good. As a whole, though, Broderick, I thought, number one, is a pass protector. Watching him versus some of the twisting stunts. That's another thing that young offense linemen struggle with. Tackle. DN wrapping around stuff like that, they'll get too locked in one way or the other, and they just never see it. 
for him. I'm watching him. I'm like, bro, you're anchoring down on this. Man, you even know how to hammer it down when you get in this, uh, the penetrator, and now you're going to bump the guard off, get the guard on the looper. It's like, bro, this is high-end stuff, and you're doing it naturally. So I love all of that. Like I said, watching him in the run game was the big difference between him and Dan Moore. I just thought that for him, he wins the grass better. But that's what we saw even with him at Georgia. That's also why he was a first-rounder. Yeah, Dan's a fourth-rounder. To me, I think Dan is a dope player, but that's the difference. Also, I'm not going to act like Jadavion Clowney is on the same level as the guys that Dan Moore faced early in the season, right? Nick Bosa, right. Miles Garrett, Max. Matt, uh, Max Crosby. Heck, even Will Anderson, I think, is a better rusher than Clowney. But at the same time, I'm saying, Roger, you don't have to face these guys now. You know why? Miles Garrett, the only guy that's on that roster or the only guy that's on that list that you're going to have to see later on. Now, we've talked about the who's who's. That's your top five or arguably your, you can make a case, top five, top three rushes in the league. Yeah. We know who the big dog is. You don't never got to see him. And we ain't got the Cowboys on the roster either or Cowboys on the schedule. So it's like even in the moments where I'm like, they okay. They might be frauds. They low key. Might, they in denial too if you listen to some of them talk. But it's like when I think of Broderick, I'm like, okay. If those were the murderers that were out there, you don't have to see them. By the time you see Miles Garrett, bro, you're a different player. You done got multiple starts under your belt. But for me, seeing him at least versus a, Dav- a Jadavion Clowney, it's like, okay, I know he's not as productive as those guys. But talent-wise, he's in the same conversation as them dudes. And that's what, for me, where I'm like, yeah, I'm good with Broderick going forward. I hate the fact Dan had to get, the, get got on the injury. But at the same time, some of the stuff is predetermined. And I'm like, man, it was only a matter of time for they was going to make the switch anyways because they drafted them too high. It's the, if anything, this is the cleaner way to do it. It is. It makes it a little bit less about the feelings, even though internally we all know, bro, it won't you, Dan. They was going to make this move regardless. But now it's like, yo, you injured, man. Just take your time, bro. Just take your time. You good. No rush. Just take your time. You all right. Young boy out there now. We don't want to mess up the, the rotation. Remember they said that with Banner. Remember when Banner was on, right? I am coming. I'm coming back. And he was like, all right, well, now – they kind of are set. Chooks and started 10 games or how many games. Yeah. Like, hey, man, we ain't switching it now. This I be, man. But those were my two men right there, honestly, though, man. JPJ, make him the guy, or at least 50% of the snaps. And then for Broderick, even though, like I said, is nothing that Dan Moore, to me, has done as a negative. It's just his ceiling is not going to be higher than what Broderick can give me. And pass rush or pass protection wise, they're close enough. And that's what I needed to see. It's like, all right, that's enough for right now. Now, it's not saying this is permanent because, yeah, if he go out here and get cooked next or uh, after the buy, it's a different convo. But I don't think that's going to happen based on what we were seeing in this game right here, man. Maybe Broderick's just big time gamer. He he definitely way more effort in like nastiness in this game than any other preseason games I watched, bro. That was another thing. And that was also what we kind of said. I was like, yo, is it? You're tired, lazy, or is it you're the first round that you out here in the fourth quarter of a preseason game? It looked more like that because out here on, you know, versus the Ravens, I'm like, all right, you really out here, you fighting to the end of the whistle, you, I'm seeing you push a cat down, and you still like, yo, if you get up, what's good? Like, that wasn't what was showing in the preseason, bro. In the preseason, it was like, all right, oh, I blocked you long enough, that's enough, I'm going to chill now. <laughs> Yeah, you got to think some of the games that he experienced down in Georgia. Yeah. Steelers-Ravens is more along that type of line. And yeah, I didn't think he looked yeah. bad in the Texans game. So, yeah, I think it's just regular season now. He's going to be good to go. Yeah. He'll be locked in. He'll be, he'll be a dog out there. Basically, the whole scouting report on him this whole time was mm-hmm. he's going to fight for the team. Like, yeah. You know, he'll, he'll give effort. He's got all that athleticism and stuff, too. But he's definitely got that dog in him. Mm-hmm. You're right. It was lacking a little bit in preseason, but now – for whatever reason, maybe he's just a, a primetime gamer. Like, yeah. regular season games, when they matter, I'm going to show up. Now, I don't know. I'm not saying that's the best way to go about things, but, hey, as long as you're performing, it's whatever. No, nah, without a doubt. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take you playing like this in the regular season over the preseason. If that's what we're going to get, I'm like, yeah, that's... As we're seeing from the offense as a whole. Yeah. It's cool we got those five touchdowns in five series in the preseason, but those right. didn't count. Absolutely. It's funny, too. Uh, I just got a text from uh, TG. You calling me? I say, bro, really? Man. You ain't even respond to the text I sent you. Boy. 
Dig, I sent this text yesterday, man. I don't know if you know that. I sent this text yesterday. This is what are you crazy. doing? This is you, crazy. Is this, is this, this one is that crazy, breaks the camel's back here, baby? Bro, this is crazy. He really good. Hey, bro, you calling me? Really? This is unbelievable. Oh, my. You need friends like TG in your life, Dig. You need friends like they They just just keep you balanced. You yeah. Know what I mean? Keeps me balanced, man. All right. Let me shoot him and see if he good. Oh, man. I'll read the super then. Yeah, let's get some supers real quick because we did not get them yet. Christian Mathias says, it's the tap you're on TV move for me. If someone is tapping you, it's because you're sour. Hey, put your head up. Your dad is coming over. <laughs> he talking about Matt that, it, it was a funny element yeah. to it of like, he is mm -hmm. just stone cold. They're like, in, hey, bro. bro. The one dude's like, hey, bro, we He's scored. so locked in, bro. So <laughs> locked in. I get it. Trust me, I get it, man. And it's one of them weird things if you're, if you, I mean, I feel like you still should be able to like understand it, but when it's like high stakes, like playing professional sports is at times, man, for us, or at least how we deem it internally, it's like, man, you will be like super duper lot. I mean, it's grown men that cry over this game. What are we talk about, man? You know what it means to us. I, it's grown men that have never cried a day in their life. And it's grown men that cry only because of football. Like. That's yeah. So when we looking at Matt Cannon, he's like in a trans lot. Then it's like, bro, what you think? If a grown man is willing to cry, a grown man willing to man, I seen grown people break their day on TVs behind this gay. Man, yeah. And that's just watching it. So imagine the guys that are actually doing this, invested in it, and having to live with all the criticism. Like, yeah, bro, you better be focused in on your work. Some were saying he was about to cry because he realized that play might have saved this job. <laughs> Donovan LaRue says, for us to be a playoff team, our DBs need to be locked down. Offense, it starts with the O-line, then the receivers, and quarterback executing consistently. Canada isn't the problem. Canada is not exclusively the problem. Everybody has a hand in it, though. And I'll just, that's been my consistent message, and I'm going to keep it going. Everybody has a hand in this day, man. We talk about it. There's certain calls that Canada is like, yo. I don't mind a call where it's for hitches or for stop routes, but there is a time and place for that. And you just got to decide a little bit better or maybe window dress it a little bit better. The reason why I didn't trip on it, it's like, I get it. You're trying to get something where, you know, your, uh, your routes are in and right at the, uh, the first down marker. And you're hoping that one of these four guys are going to, you know, be threatening enough with their speed that when they stop on the dime, Kenny's going to pop and we're good. I get the thought process behind it. Execution wasn't there. George got guarded up. Robinson was guarded up. Calvin was guarded up. Darnell Washington got guarded up. So that's the part where I'm like, I get the thought process, which is why you hear me a lot of times say, I don't hate the call. I just hate the execution of it. I hate how it resulted because if any of them four dudes win that one-on-one, -on -one, it's a different conversation. Can you, or stop routes a part of the route tree? Yeah. Do you win on stop routes? Yeah. But when you don't win, and nobody else wins, it's like, yeah, we're going to criticize the heck out this thing. And that's when we say schematically, should you have called four stop routes or maybe change something up? Yeah. But now it's hindsight 2020, right? Because if one of them dudes catches it or wins, we're not saying that. If Darnell Washington ran 10 yards, body position, turn around, booty on the defender and caught it, we'd be like, bro, that's what we wanted to see the whole time. It could be a shaky call, though, <laughs> because you can correct me if I'm wrong. On those type of routes, you're, mm -hmm. you're probably looking at one guy. Cause, and then if that guy's not open, you're probably yeah. too late on the other right. one. So well, we, we, need some, we need some extra routes. Yeah, so something. afterwards, you start to look to extend. But doesn't every play have some form of that, though, when we talk about improvising and extending the play? Every play has some element of, okay, the initial didn't work. Now break off of it. Now do this. But then that also goes back to office line. You got to protect long enough for that also. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you text me. I text him back. I said, you ready, bro? I never heard from you. I ain't got no text. Well, I, can't uh, wait. I told you, you need a TG in your life, man. When when all when everything else is chaotic, just, just have a TG around, man. Uh, Louis G, old Deke Bayless just wants those moral victory 40-point shootouts where Kenny looks good. Uh, not at all. Deke don't care about the dubs. Canada, Kenny and Canada need more time. No, I just, I just want a good off. Like, I want a competent offense. That's all I'm asking for. I didn't care if we came into the season. Remember, for the majority of the mm -hmm. offseason, I said, I think if we just look like we did, end of yeah. 2022, maybe open it up a little bit more, mm -hmm. we'll win games. Because I, well, I also thought the defense was going to be a lot better, too. Yeah. So, 
that hasn't been the case either. I no, I don't I don't necessarily care about these forty point shootouts or anything. I just want a competent offense that can get to around yeah. at least eighteen, twenty points, move the ball, keep the defense off the field, that type of stuff. And we just haven't gotten that for the most part this season. That's that's really it. I need Canada and Kenny to be what we need them to be. Yeah. And that's the quote. I need to be what we need them to be, man. Yeah, like I didn't I didn't give a yeah. shit how we won Seriously. when Ben won his first Super Bowl. Like you look at those stats, I, I, I think he made be, like four hundred attempts. Yeah. But Ben was good. He was what we needed him to be. The offense, we had a pretty good running game with Willie Parker. The defense was awesome. So like, that's how we Willie. won. Shout out to Fast Willie P, man. Let's go. Uh, Antonio Carter, get Deke in the booth. That's Deke LeBeau. Hey, now. Not for defense. I'll, I'll do the OC <laughs> thing. Yeah. I got some nice plays on offense that I Canada I always wonder, which one do you, do you think is harder to score or harder to stop people? I always feel like it's harder to score, bro. I feel like, man, you can, you can come up with some five defenses. I can get some stops on you. It's going to be tough, though, bro. Maybe it's my mindset. Like, I'm always looking at, I can stop this. We can stop this. We can stop it that way. I got this way to stop it. You ain't got no answer for this. You, If you can't stop my pass rush, you will never have an answer. Like, I always look at it like that. I'll be hitting them with a lot of uh, trips tight end. Yeah, okay. Three receivers on yeah. one side. You got a tight end on the mm-hmm. other side lined up along the offensive line. So you line. naked on that backside end, what you telling me? Ah, uh, then you just try to read the defense, maybe send some guys in motion, whatnot, man. see if they're in man zone, whatever, and yeah. you know, if the box is a little light, hit them with that inside zone. Respect, respect. That's what I Respect, man. Uh Steel Spaceman. Sanders left and got a ring. A B left and got a ring. Juju left and got a ring. Is Claypool the next Steeler player to get one? <laughs> oh, he did go to the Dolphins. He's down in Miami, man. No. I mean, TG did say he was ready. So we could actually low key ask TG about this being that he is a former Dolphin. Was he? Yes, he was. He definitely was. Really? He got some Miami in his blood. Okay. Hey, he got. He, don't let him act like he ain't got no Miami in his blood, okay? Okay. He got Miami in his blood. So we go, we go get his little thoughts on this little situation. Now that he's finally available. Jeez. So this coach is, man, I didn't got, I'm all tangled up in here, D. Give me a second, bro. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Nausea trade packages, potentially. Oh, you know he going to have all that on deck. This TG we talking about, baby. You know he ain't going to let us down. Hello? Broski, what's the word? What's the word, man? What's good, family? Man, How talk to me, baby. Talk to me, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. boys and girls. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's Terrence Garvin, a.k.a. My locker mate, former Pittsburgh Steeler, alum, West Virginia Mountaineer, almost heaven alum as well. Almost Come on almost now. Heaven. You know what time he's on. <sighs> but more importantly, like I said, man, one half of the locker mates, and y'all see the content dropping over there, so definitely y'all keep tapping in. But, man, what's yeah. the word with you, baby? How you living? I'm feeling good, man, living good. Feeling better. I'm just, you know, day at a time. No, nah, respect. Time. Respect. Well, you called at the right time, man, because we got some action we got to get on. You know, we got to get from you. So, first off, Tito, good vibes. It says RQQ to the good, bros. Let's get that out the way first. All right. Then from there, your boy Chase Claypool and joins your family in Miami, man. Is this where he finds success? Is this his might or is this his Antonio Brown, his uh, Emmanuel Sanders, his Juju Smith Schuster moment where he leaves the house and wins the ring. Is this the time? Uh, <laughs> I don't, nah. Come I'm on, really, I, I know that's your blood down there now. I know you got some Miami blood in you. Yeah, you know, I'm good in the hood in Miami, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Jerome Bakers and the guys, but I think, <laughs> I don't know if that's the championship team. I'm not saying that's the Super Bowl team, but I I think he goes down there and he finds success, though. I do think that. I think he goes down there, he's finally found the home that he's been looking for. You know what I mean? He's finally found the home he's been looking for because it's like it's a place. They got their weapons, so they got their number one, they number two, you know? Mm. They, they got, they got their running back. They got what they – well, they just lost a running back. But they got what they need in the sense of it's clicking. So he can go out there and kind of just be a big receiver. Okay. You know, okay. he got to be the big. It's almost like that, that Golden State team. He's like that, that. that oh, he's that Wiggins. Big, he's Andrew Wiggins. Yeah. Just, just, you see, come, come like here and be Wiggins, be Wiggins real quick. Wiggins, yeah, Wiggins by himself. Yeah. yeah. 
I got you. Yeah, he can just be the best him he can be. And it's like, yeah. I think I think he'll get a lot of open targets up there. Yeah. You know? So. Okay, 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 okay. okay. But, but no Super Bowl this year is what you're telling me, though. Ah, I'm not drinking the Kool-Aid quite yet. For sure. Man, that's crazy. Who you got as the favorite? I was about to say, who was your team again? You, 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 was, you was Dolphins was at one Jets, time. It was the Jets. I mean, Zach Wilson Jets. has been playing was better. Huh? I was, going on, uh, the, but, I was uh, drinking the Jets. You, you told me about I Miami heard. one time. You was like, they got Jalen Ramsey. They got Xavier yeah. Howard. You told me all oh, this other stuff. I said stuff. they finished second in the conference. <laughs> second in the division. Behind the I Jets, right? That. Behind the Jets. I said that. Behind the Jets. I said that. Wait, so you're back on the Jets? <laughs> no, I'm not on the Jets at all. So you with the Patriots there? How about Pittsburgh? You with the Patriots? What's your team? Who's my squad? I'm yeah. with Pittsburgh, man. <laughs> He's with Pittsburgh now. He's just making up as he go along, bro. <laughs> I'm just more saying like this. I, don't, I I think the Bills will win that division. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I think, I think they the Bills are banged up, man. The Bills that lost an all pro, yeah. bro. They lost an all pro corner, all pro linebacker, a, a heck of a D tackle right now. They they got the injury bug a little bit, man. Yeah. They got the quarterback. They got the no, receiver. no, they no. Don't you, do they don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Uh, 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 uh. They done lost an all pro quarter, an all pro linebacker, a, a heck of a D tackle. Come on, man. They the only. That they does the hurt. Only team that they they, they tried to replace him with uh, Norman, huh? Uh, see, we, we, we got Josh Norman out there all of a sudden now. Come uh, Jay, on, man. No, I guess they should be That's the ones that are trying to trade for Shertan JC Horn. Hold on. What did you call Josh Norman? That's a fifty million dollar corner, bro. You gotta stop this, bro. Fifty million dollar corner, like you gotta like, stop that. this, bro. It's a fifty million they're dollar corner. They're the only team. They're the only team in the division that feels comfortable with their quarterback. And I say that to say, yeah, two was balling, but you know, it's just the. Oh, uh, uh, don't you minimize two it? Don't you do that? Two was a front runner for MVP think, prior to the Bills game. That. Prior to that Bills game, two or four a fact was a front runner for MVP. Don't play. Yeah, he got seventy points. In okay, game. so no, now I, y'all can't walk down. You can't walk that back all of a sudden because they didn't got a, a Buffalo tasting. I never walked. Yeah, that you, you was a part of the seventy. You was part of the seventy crowd. I, never I, that I know Deke was part of the seventy crowd, and there was a lot of people no, in the chat too. Not like that. A lot of people in the chat. Just because I'm talking to TG and Deke, I see y'all I in the th- chat I thought too. It was an impressive y'all was also talking one game. greasy about Ooh. them Dolphins. All right, yeah. No, Ooh, yeah I've been on. Like that. No, I've yeah. been on the same wave the whole time, and on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, it was against the Broncos. Like I'm not discrediting the Broncos. <laughs> Shout out my guy Michael Wilhoy. Okay. Okay. But no, that's not that's not the business right now. The Broncos <laughs> trying to get Caleb. Hey, so Bron- speaking of the Broncos, we was also in here talking about PS two, Pat Sertan. What's is that a veil? Is that something that you think we we looking? You know what I'm saying? What, what you thinking? I think you got to offer a lot to get it. You got to think if you want to do anything with the Broncos, you offering things like first round pick, mm-hmm. second round pick. You got to get them with. They looking for future. They not looking for nothing for right now. Right. They want future. So it's like so you got to come. What you get willing them. to give up for it? For a Patrick Sertan? Yeah. Would you, if you're the Steelers, would you do? Because we're talking about the Steelers. Like, because I we've had talk. some struggles yeah. in the secondary and whatnot. And, and, and I know, and I know you going to talk. I know you going to talk. Give, it to, give it to me. Broncos. Give it to me, Pittsburgh first, and then give it to me as the Broncos. Pause that, by the, the way. Steelers? Yeah. I ain't like how that sound. Right. I just, yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah, you well, can't. Well, I'm calling <laughs> Pittsburgh. I'm calling Denver. And I'm going to be like, y'all look like you're struggling. You know? Y'all look like y'all struggling. Yeah. I'm here to help. I'm Let me get that friend. Patrick Sertan. I'm an ally. Yeah, I'm a friend. I'm an ally. <laughs> Let me get Patrick Sertan off of you. Clear it off the books, bro. Clear it off book. the books. <laughs> Cut it off the books. Let him be free. I'm going to give you my first round next year. You feel me? Okay, I'm gonna okay. Give you, I'm going to give you my... Ha, I'm going to offer you my second <laughs> round. Of, I was like, yeah, second what round you were saying? I'm good with that. I'm going to offer you my second rounder for two years from now. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. And then I'm going to be like, yo, you know that running game look like it can <laughs> oh, tighten up a can little I bit. Get a Jav- I you, can a, I get a Javante? Can I get a Javante, you saying? I got a nausea for you. <laughs> oh, you wild. Just, give, <laughs> just give me, give me, <laughs> give me Pat and a uh, uh, Pat in the fifth. Can I get a fifth? No, no, no. I, th- I think you just do it. You don't ask for more. I think you just do it. Just, just, just throw- give, me, give me Pat and a punt returner. Th- th- let me get that boy okay. that went to Penn State. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hamlet. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me get that. Okay. And let's get out of here. Okay. 
Bro, Can we you do that? funny. I would do that in a heartbeat if the Broncos would accept I think that. that's a good trade. That, that's a I heck of an offer. Excited. That's a heck of an <laughs> offer from Pittsburgh side. Now, I need you to take off that black and gold hat and go ahead and put on that Broncos one and take yeah. that same offer. Let me hear your rebuttal real quick, man. Yeah, I'm saying no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. Absolutely first, not. Man. What do you need? First two, all, two first. All, two first. Are you all, doing you it? Can't afford Patrick <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm yeah, an, it, the can't. the convo starts at two first rounds. Okay, yeah, we start in there. All, I was just about to say, I need your first round this year. <laughs> I need your first round next year, and I'm gonna need. I'll and flirt I might with something conditional. Okay, I'm yeah, flirt with and something conditional. And I might conditional. get a conditional third yeah. round depending how much he uh, plays. Yeah, so, I'm a, bro. We, we talk. This is a marquee position. Quarterback, Come left on. tackle, pass rusher, and corner, bro. Those are the 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 almighty four. The Mount Rushmore bro. of getting paid in the NFL. The Mount Rushmore of the most important position on your team. Corner oh, is up didn't there, Ramsey bro. Didn't Ramsey go for two though? It, would, wouldn't two just be enough? Bro, he's younger. He is younger. He's I younger. Ramsey is older. Fine, we'll do the two first and Najee. You got to think the NFL is all about affecting the quarterback, whether you protect it's a passing it, league, bro. You, yeah, you affect the quarterback. You put you're a, a premium corner, on those you're a dudes, bro. Tackle. You yeah. know what I mean? You're a corner, two left tackle, you're a receiver. You got to give me – if I'm Denver, I'm like, I need two first-rounders. Hey, TG, TG, hold on, hold on. In fact, in fact, I don't want Najee. Because uh, Deke said two, two firsts first and a Najee. Huh? Because that's what Deke said, two first-rounders and a Najee. Nah, I need two first-rounders and a Deontay. Uh, no, no, hell no. Need, no, no. Oh, now it's hell no. Oh, man. You called me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like you called me. You, you, I can call you. Because you, you, this is Denver we're talking to right here. Denver, yeah, Denver, Denver right now. Pat Denver, P, like Hall you called Famer. me. Did you say Hall of Famer, Pat P? You trying yeah. to sell me? No, no bro, I don't want that. ain't no way you selling me on I that one, man. I need future picks. You right? I'm yeah, I, can't I need do picks that with that. because I know what I'm, I'm giving up. I'm not trying to win today. Yeah. If I'm Denver, I'm not trying to win today. I'm worried about tomorrow. I need yeah. I need two first rounders. Then let me get that young receiver you was trying to get rid of. Yeah. Because you know I might trade Jerry Judy in a few minutes. Let me see what I can get and replace that. Yeah. I'm gonna go give me a first rounder off that Jerry Judy and I'm gonna pick that receiver up right there and we all good. I'm not saying I'm doing this. I just want to see would would the Broncos accept this? Two first Deontay for Judy and Shertan. Heck no. 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 Uh-uh, no. Uh-uh, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. no. Two first and a Deontay, proven. you could get yeah. Sertan. But Sertan is a proven lockdown yeah. corner in this league, bro. Them $100 million giving, corners. So you're you, saying you do I'm the conditional you third, though. You do the two first and the I'm, third. I'm down for conditional, yeah. The Broncos. Uh, I don't know if they would if accept that. Broncos, would you accept two, 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 two first and a conditional third? For who? Sertan. Conditional, yeah. like third or yeah, fourth, like you said, based off playing time. For me, that's the best offer that I'm willing to give up. Two first. In a conditional, uh, and I'll be real with you. I'll be real with you. It ain't a quick yes. I might no, sit not. there and think about it for a minute because we're that's talking about ten. Like you don't yeah. get those. Yeah, you don't get those. Think what every so year we draft take, corners. Every year, corners yeah, you get want me to take their two bus. first. Mm-hmm. These two first might not be proven first. They might not be. What are the first? Is that's it, what I need to know. And, next. and, and not a shot, but think about it. Right, it's a big difference between Sertan, who's a first rounder, Artie yeah. Burns, who was a first rounder. Right, hey. even JPJ right now is the 32 overall pick, technically still a first rounder. Pat Sertan is still, I'd do it, yeah, like, I would do it if, if they'd be willing to. I mean, I mean, think, I think about it, a huge it, bro. help to our secondary help. and part of the future He's with bald. JPJ. Yeah. Be, I think it, I think about we, that boy, Gonzalez. we would have to take it seriously. There playing well, He's gotten hurt, yeah. Think about the boy from Buffalo. I think they even picked Elam in the first, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, Ky- Ky- yeah. Uh, Kyer Elam, and he doesn't even yeah. see the field like that. That bro. doesn't see this, yeah. It's, it's time like he don't even dress, pan- he don't even dress at time. Bro. Think, they're panicking over a corner right now, and they got a first round corner sitting there. He's only two years in this league. But it's still a first round corner. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm putting yeah. emphasis on what you're saying. Like, and this is within yeah. the first two years. This is a new first round pick, bro. Yeah. yeah. This is supposed to be like, all right, don't even trip. We got a first right. round. Let's right. call it in then. I, yeah. I'd do that if I'm the Steelers. I'm down for the two first and the conditional third. I, I would be down for that. Like I said, I don't know if Denver would take it because I like the deal. Maybe because I like it, that's why Denver won't take it. Man, I, I think, think it's still enough, though. Like, I think it, it's, it's a good it, deal. That's I ain't going to lie I think that deal would have we a gotta shot. pay him too. I think it has a shot too because yeah, D get big up. You gotta give him a contract. Like, but I'll be real, I think it's so much more than that. Cause it's like at the same time, I'm gonna talk to you and I'm gonna be like, you're over there winning. You're in first place right now. These two first round picks ain't nothing to me. Mm-hmm. No, I need more. I need more. Because I'm not even gonna be late first. Yeah, I'm not even picking high anymore. And I'm gonna give you yeah. a heck of an asset that's yeah. only gonna make my compensation, my return worse. Yeah, you're playing Dang, too well. Come on, TG. Why you GMing me like this? 
TG, don't GM, like don't GM me I'm like this. Don't GM me like this. He said, I'm going to make you chase me a little bit. <laughs> All right, what yeah. about for J.C. Horn? For the Ooh. Panthers. Okay. For J.C. Horn? For what? Throw, what, what, throw, throw what would you do to go get it? Now, he's hurt right now. But what would you do? No, I'm not giving that a first-round pick. Okay. Get hurt too much. Okay. Get hurt. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 I offer a third-rounder. Yeah, but I'm not giving you that for a third-rounder. Second-rounder. Because it's second. different when it's your player. Yeah, like it's because that's the difference, like how we think about. Yeah, we're trying to. You're trying to do it from the Steelers side. You also got to think if you're the Panthers. Yeah, how if does I'm that? The Panthers, is, yeah, I'm, you probably don't have enough to get it because I'm gonna ask you for a first rounder, but I'm still gonna be. A little, I'm gonna ask you for a first rounder. I got Miles in here, so I'm not really tripping on a running back. I need a receiver. Let me get Deontay. Uh, I couldn't do it. Oh, quiet. You yeah, why you don't want to? No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why don't you want to trade Deontay? You, no, I'm just saying. If I'm, he's a if good I'm player. The Panthers, hold on, hold on, hold on, TG, TG, hold on. I'm trying to see with Deke. But like, oh, okay. Because the second time he done brought up Deontay, you'd be like, nah, I ain't trying to throw him into the equation on top of it. You like the other part except that if, part. If I'm there's like, any hope for this <laughs> offense improvement, it's him coming back. So. Oh, all right, all right. I got you. Got yeah. You. I'm so I was saying, like, why is it always Deontay? Well, you, it's just that way. All right. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we need You got to think. Once again, the value is expecting the quarterback. So you get Everybody wants a receiver. You're right, Miles Sanders down there, though. Yeah, Miles Sanders yeah. down there. They clearly need a number one. Let me yeah. get that Deontay off. You, you could have a little thunder Deontay. and lightning down there with Sanders yeah. and Najee. A little RB compliment. Oh. Deontay would uh, – he, yeah, he's still cooking in Charlotte. He'd be all right. Let me get that Deontay and let me get that um that draft pick. I what? might throw you Jay Cohn. What do, what do you need? What What draft pick? That first round draft. Oh season. no! He's way. hurt right now, though, no bro. Way. <laughs> but he's elite when he's here. And you but know he hurt right now, though, man. I can't give you no first for no damage. No. Good, bro. You Wait, know that. It, but he said Andy on right. No way. That's a lot. That's a lot. Like, All right, look. That's strong. You trying strong arm me? I'm, I'm gonna hang the phone up. I don't want to talk to you no more. That's, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Check this out. I'll give you my second. You give me your first. Give me Deontay, and I'll give you Jay Horn. I can't do it. You know what? Low key though. That that. I'm not saying it's not a fair trade, it's a but fair I, I'm, trade. Not, I'm not doing it. It's a fair trade. I wouldn't do it. I think Deontay is a more consistent player. I think he's more available. I think he's more consistent. JC, I think he has way more talent. But like we talked about, bro, he ain't always out there. And I think that's what we need more right yeah. now than a JC. We need Deontay back. I need to consistency help right now. And I'll be like, stop calling me. I got to oh. go call Tampa Bay and get this receiver. So, wait, would you just know. do straight up a first for Horn? <laughs> It no. depends on the perspective. I think if I we're talking from Steelers' side, we're yeah. not trying to give up a lot. But if you're Carolina, yeah, Carolina almost is not the same as the Pat Sertan convo, but it's in that realm of, okay, we know what this position is. We know why we drafted you, and we've even seen you at times look like you can do it. The yeah. big thing is availability right now. So we're not just going to part with that just because he's been hurt for crumbs. Nah. Go find your That's own version of a J.C. Though. Horn. I mean, it, 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 that would be significant, be with, especially with I his would, contract coming up, too. Yeah. Three years in the league. I would been highly hurt. doubt J.C. Horn would be available, though. Yeah. Like, highly. I don't see that. Yeah, I haven't seen the rumors. They were talking about it last year, but yeah. for this year, I haven't seen as many rumors as what we're hearing from the Broncos and potentially, like, mm-hmm. Shirtan and a bunch of those other players. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I just don't – I don't know if you can get a – Jace Horn. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think that like some of these are like bad shots. Like you kind of don't even want to spend that, which you're gonna have to yeah. spend to get, you know? Um Well, we yeah, were talking that's... before you got on, like changes or moves we'd make for the Steelers at mm-hmm. the bye week. Do you have any on top of your mind? Uh uh, I get JPJ in the game. He probably start for me now. Okay. It's time to go ahead and let, let that start. He said, take the training uh, wheels off, man. Get him off that puppy yeah. child. Get him some real food. I keep I keep building that two-back package that they started working on. Dudes, you know dudes what I mean? 30 look good. Yeah. Little queens. They brought 30 in motion. Uh-huh. They started working the uh, the ghost the ghost off of it. The, the jet, jet. Yeah, they yeah jet the ghost. Mm-hmm. I built that a little bit. I get that a little bit built. Um, I'd probably build a couple more packages. I like this 12 personnel. I get zero in the game a little bit more. Okay, but, okay. Ah, and I'm probably gonna make that change at left tackle. 
I'm going to go ahead and make that switch. Okay, yeah. Broderick full time in it. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm probably going to let him go ahead and, like, let's let's do it. Okay, you but the first round for a reason. At the same time, you're on top of the AFC North. You're number one, mm -hmm. you know? So I ain't going to change too much. Like, the clock's not all the way broken. It's right. Now, so wait a minute, gonna... though, bro. Are you cool with this offense, man? No, I'm not ecstatic about it, but we're winning. You know what I mean? We're winning. We're finding ways to win at the end of the day. We running up. We gotta run the ball better. We know that. We gotta find this picket the pickings. We know that's gotta keep heating up. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna start drawing up plays for him, where I'm like, all right, look, throw the ball to Pickens. Pick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Throw the ball to Pickens on this play. He's he's uh, he the read right here. He's the read. Play. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start throwing him some nows. I'm just gonna get him the ball a little bit more. Mm. Like, you know. And we got the uh, Ante coming back. That'll yeah. help. Yeah. But I'm now, still gonna heat up. I'm still gonna heat that picket the Pickens up. I mean, that's. That's hot. But now we, we know the big talk, man. Everybody want to fire the coordinator. What's your energy yeah. on the coordinator, bro? You know, I'm not a fire the, fire the guy in the middle of the season guy. You know, unless it's just. Oh, you seeking comfort, man. Yeah. No, nah, I'm not seeking <laughs> comfort. Stop <messing> with you. <laughs> I'm not seeking comfort, but I'm real big on like, I'm just not going to fire him in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm not going to fire him in the middle of it. Like, we're still working. Like, it's Which, not like, we, once uh, again. There could be a fair, like, happy medium. If this continues for the next three or four weeks, Cause I'm saying, what's the difference for you between firing them in season versus if you were going to wait until after the season to fire them? If you were still going to be mean, moving on from them. Difference. It's a major difference. Like, you know, in season, you're in the middle of it. And I get it. Like, you know, like, we're in the business of winning. It's all about winning. So it is what it is. And, and technically, we time, are winning. We are winning. And we don't want to lose sight of that. We are winning. Yeah. Like, it's not like it's, like, we're winning. You're mm -hmm. first in the AFC North. Like. You know, you got a positive record going into the bye week. Like, at the end of the day, like, these are goals that you set out to do, and that's what's happening right now. Like, yeah, it's not totally clicking, but it's giving you flashes of what it can be to where it's like, I'm still optimistic of it, you know? Mm -hmm. You got the pieces in there to do what you need to do. I think it's a little bit of, like, let's put it together. So I think even bigger than fire it during the bye week, you more embrace it during the bye week and be like, all right, let's go get it now. Bro. What? Got the bye week. Yeah, now, like, turn it up a little bit, man. Okay. Like, get creative. Like, feel a little bit more comfortable. Like, this has gotten you here. Now draw some motions with it. Draw some shifts. Like, just, you know, work's going to work. That's what we've been called. We, we, hey, hey, do I, I, do, I, I do will, stuff like Shanahan. Do I, stuff I, I like was the gonna Dolphins say, I was going to say, actually, I did for the first time. Now, granted, I, I wasn't paying attention to it all the time, but I did for the first time see – Calvin Austin be utilizing a Tyreek Hill type weird arc yeah. motion out the slot. I'm like, ooh, arc we motion. ain't never done that one. I did I see Kenny that versus Baltimore. Bit, I just want to throw that out there. I did see that, bro. There. Yeah. Throw you a triple. Throw you a couple. You know what I mean? Triple Trick play. <laughs> any, any, yeah. bro. We anything any. that's gonna make the defense have to prepare. Have anything to that's gonna make the defense tight. have to be detailed up, bro. Yeah. Just think about it. Right now, are we saying that we feel like we have a god squad on offense that everybody is proving and they're all clicking? No, we saying that, bro. We are working in progress and we are gonna continue to be at least for the duration of this year, all right? So it's like, man, all right, you better start finding other ways to get creative because, like you said yourself. <laughs> We can't always just say we're going to throw it to Pickens, right? That, in, in that fashion where it's right. the, the sideline throw, back shoulder, mm -hmm. whatnot. I, I mean, Pickens does pretty much catch it every time, so who knows? Maybe we could. But to an extent, we're going to have to come up with something else. And what TG's talking about is, okay, if our something else isn't we can just blow you off the ball or we just have another elite dude that can do this, the next yeah. part is we got to get a little gimmicky. But if, yeah. you make it, but if you look at San Fran, what's a West Coast offense? It's misdirection. It's a gimmick. gimmick. We're just trying to get gimmick. you to not have your keys locked in. And it gets worded as West Coast offense, so it sounds sexy. But it's just it's a, a gimmick. gimmick offense. That's it. I, and to be I'm real, that's all I just feel that like. At this point. We I feel like that's what they it, though. Yeah. We try it. But it, it feels slow. But, it feels like but you gotta we, we don't execute gimmicky. the same way. That's the gimmick you part. You got to understand gimmicky. Yeah. Like, gimmicky, like, it's, you know, at the same time, they just need to, like, put. I love that 12 personnel. Like, they got in that 12 personnel. I understand the tight end was hurt. But they got in that 12 personnel, and it was getting more downhill. It was more waggles. It was getting them chips out. They even used Connor time. Hayward to an extent as a yeah. pseudo 12 or 21, depending on how they would. Like, sometimes they was lining him as a fullback. Other times he was definitely listed as, like, tight end in terms of how they were using him in the style of play. But, yeah, man, that is the personnel group, though, man, getting two big-body dudes out there like that. 
Man, to be real, like, man, to be real, the way their system set up, like, Pittsburgh's strong in their big positions, in a sense. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like their big guys are faster than your big guys. You know, you know, like Move, a Connor yeah. Hayward, Hayward or like okay. So their their game is to get big, but still be faster than you getting big. You know, I e the like, New oh, England Patriots with Gronk and Hernandez. That the was that was the to vibe. The San Fran, now. yeah, yeah, it's San like Fran, yeah. Yeah. yeah, even Baltimore to an extent. Baltimore is going to get you big bodies and throw to Mark Andrews. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's play big football and play big little football. Like I'm gonna bring these big boys in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make you get in your big personnel, and your bigs better be able to run with my bigs. You know, it's like. It's like, you know, the skill skill wise, they got talent out there like they do, but it's kinda like I feel like they just gotta get a little bit more play with your eyes. Mm. You know? Show you a ghost off of the inside zones. Yeah. Show you a little, little key different. little key beaters and and, and yeah. one off Tennessee they just be like, yo, why you gotta throw the full but it's like that fullback pass. You remember it was like the little dive pass? It's like, yo, why this just is just enough of a variation that now I can't do my job to the best of my ability every single time. I don't know if I should hit this fullback or if I got to cover this fullback. Little Man, stuff like that, bro. Little stuff like that. Yeah. Everybody know for their offense so far, the Y has taken you to the ball. They run split yep. zone. The Y has taken That's you to key. the ball. That's your key. That's your key. I seen San Fran do something where they took the Y and wrapped them back around. Like it's Opposite all Opposite direction, stuff. yeah. Just yeah, we need, we need like yeah. counters. We, we can't just keep right. running the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying there's some other stuff you can flow with to mm -hmm. get you to where you're trying to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we Some can't get counter to the counters counter. until we knock out the originals. Once we knock the originals, then we can get to the counters. Sure. But that's not true, though. You don't think that's so? Because I think you put on tape that you'll do the originals. I think for Okay, the, okay. For so you look at it like that. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm like, for the last yeah. six weeks, that Y has took you to the ball. You okay. call it what you want. So I looked at it like... The so the way I looked at it was like this, man. In terms of everything you're saying, yes. I just thought that uh, it means more if I've seen you have success out of it already versus if you're just doing it but i haven't seen you be successful out of it i'm just like all right you're trying to bait me into something but this still hasn't done enough to threaten me just yet so when i think of our running game man this times we'll keep running the ball it's like bro we ain't moving nothing i don't have to feel threatened by that i can stand my sub package defense now if you start actually picking up positive yards like we saw last game with Jalen warren in that second half now i'm not as prone to just sit in my sub package when you say you're gonna run this ball because i'm like nah, y'all actually showing that you could do it that's why for me, I'm like, once I've seen the success, now the counter comes off of it. But that's just my perspective on it. I hear you. Yeah, I, yeah right. I, when, when the basic shit, but I, think, but I yeah, feel like I think that's what makes still get a little yeah. bit more creative. But bro, it sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but I think that's what makes these my these uh I don't want to say Mahomes, these Andy Reid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk it, talk it. It's the fact that they come out so crazy. They run an account. Oh, they got so yeah. much nonsense. You be looking at like, what yeah. is this, bro? Like. Like How do I guard that? <laughs> the counter is almost like the the base uh -huh. play. Yeah. You know what I mean? But did it start like that in Kansas City, though? Because to me, I don't think it did. I felt like when I think of first year Mahomes, when he went dummy out there, that was the floor. Now, everything else is like, bro, you better respect that. You better send it to our show. You better make them go gimmicky because if you don't, you know what he's already capable of doing. I don't think this gimmick stuff works if you haven't already daggered a dude to make you show a hey, defensively man. Don't be pressing up on that. Don't be single high yeah. in this. That's a byproduct of him already cooking people. But it's kind of like I mean, Purdy and Tua would be the yeah, opposite they examples are. in a yeah. way. Now Miami has those receivers. Yeah, I mean, 49ers got good receivers too. I feel like we have in the wit came first the chicken or the egg convo low key. But I think I think receivers isn't the like I don't think talent is the issue. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like mm -hmm. if you look at if you look at Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh is honestly built on beat your one on one. Mm -hmm. That's truly that's their whole madra. My guy's like, better like, than win, your guy. Yep. Yeah, when you're one on one, and it's kind of like that's cool, but it's not creative. And at the same time, they not they not just maulers up front that's just right. winning their one on one. And that so has like, been the mantra for a while. Yeah. Just when you one on one. Me, Deke, me, you've talked about that. Less about scheme, more about individuals. But if your individuals aren't on that just yet, now it shifts a little bit back towards all right, maybe. Yeah, we need, we need more some scheme. more help. That's what I'm saying. We need yeah. some more help from 
just the schemes and yeah. what we're putting out there but, but from the play calling. Standpoint. The only problem was Deke, that kind of was counter from what you be talking. You be usually like our guys are like number one at all their positions. So if your guys is all elite, then the scheme don't matter. Just line it up, man. My guy better than your guy. I think we are realizing though at times some of our guys are a little bit behind our expectations. That's all. Mm, I'm so with they you. need a little bit more help. Uh, I know where you're getting at with that. I'm just I know where you're getting at. All I'm saying is I'm I see all these other young quarterbacks have these I, see, offensive I gurus. See, I didn't talk quarterback, bro. It, I was I was chilling, bro. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt for Kenny to have one of those guys. I'm innocent. They said a hurt dog a holler though, but I'm innocent, bro. I ain't talk about nobody. I just that, that's what they said. All right, uh, I'm innocent, man. No, well, e- either but, way, man. I, I mean, Canada's not leaving. I do expect. Kenny to continue to improve as the season goes on, as we talked about. No, he, he better. He I, will. Think, yeah. I think big offenses open up though. Like, like Purdy's a really good player, bro. I mm-hmm. think Purdy's. I a agree. I, I guess I yeah. have to admit it now. He is good. Yeah. I, 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 th- I gave him credit last year, but I just didn't know if it was gonna it was replicate. Also, yeah, he's, he's, he's legitimately think, good. I also think, and I'm not minimizing nothing, but I'm like, I think that offense is a good offense to be in. It is it's very exactly it's very yeah. friendly. 100%. I would agree. I mm-hmm. think you can get in that offense. All right, let me give you a perfect example. I was watching the Raiders game, right? Oh, talk, that's and all. I was watching the Raiders game, and you can see Garoppolo, him and Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams comes from more of a freestyle yes, route running. Yes, with, uh, with A-Rod. Yeah, it. yeah. You can feel it. Like, he runs his routes to where, all right, I'm going to stop right here. And I'm wow. open. Hit me. Garoppolo yeah. is on time. I need, hey, Gar- be where you supposed to be. one, two, three. Yeah. I need to throw this. Be where you supposed to be. Be where you supposed yeah. to be. Yep. And it's almost like the it there you can see that mesh in there doesn't uh-huh. work because they're, they're for different flows. Yes. While Garoppolo, when he was with that San Fran one mm-hmm. two three, it's on throwing, schedule. Yep. It was looking good. It was clicking. Mm-hmm. Some people are more of a I need to throw it now. One yeah. two three, it's time for me to do something. You know. Mm-hmm. While some people, it, it can be a little bit more freestyle. Yeah. You know. More improvisation. I Kenny, yeah. I think Kenny would would do even better if he had a. One, two, it's time for it to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. And then I can freestyle off of that. It feels like it's almost like my my one-on-one didn't win. Now I'm freestyling all the way. Right, and he right. needs to be more protected one, two, before three. you freestyle. Yeah. But that's different than what we've been accustomed because seven is freestyle, not seven system. Is the definition right. of freestyle. Seven is His freestyle. That, the bro, definition of a freestyle. Every, bro, you know everything we did here is freestyle. It's like, bro, we don't yeah. we not button up with all this schemes. And that's why it still be crazy to me when we holler about it as often as we do, because when we that's what we are taught. It's like, bro, when you're one on one, seven yeah. gonna make you right. A hey, seven man, yeah. you cook. A B man, psh, follow him, but you better follow him on Twitter. You ain't finna stop yeah. nothing. That's that's yeah. the thing, yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing I would say about Kenny that he's different from uh, than Ben. Like whenever I witnessed him at Pitt picking defense apart yeah. senior year, like he, he'd just be sitting back there. And he, yeah. yeah, he'd he'd hit quick reads, get the ball out quick, and then but then he does have some of that freestyle factor right. too, just not to the full extent of Ben. So if we could get him some like what TG saying, yeah, like an offense where he could mm-hmm. sit back there, he knows his one two whatever, and he could yeah. get it out quick before some of this pressure is getting to him. Mm-hmm. I think that could benefit him a lot. Yeah. I low let key, low let key, it, but see, that's a different convo. When you say let him no, cook, it's, it's, it's let him cook is not both. that. Let him cook is what we were just talking about. That's let him cook a, is a freestyle, right? He's not let him yeah. cook. He's put him in the system. That's but, and let, but him, he let needs, him cook in the system. I mean, it's a mixture, though. It is. You know it's, it is. I'm with it's you. A mixture. I'm with you. I'm with because you know. Yeah. I'm because your man, your favorite, Kirk Cousins. I let him cook. He's a mix of it. He's a mix of it. Yeah, but he'll he'll throw you out of it too, though. He gets yeah, you in trouble. But he's a big yeah. system guy. Mm-hmm. He's a system though. Yeah. But he'll get he'll get busy a little bit. He's right, he's high he's high end system like Garoppolo, like Tannehill. We talk yeah. about them same names every time because that's what a high a high end system guy looks like. But yes. yeah. It's still system. Yeah. Brady system. Brady's a system. But Brady got that freestyle ability. That's, but Brady's that's what I'm saying. We gotta get we we gotta let Kenny do. <laughs> Of all the people, that's the way you bring up. I, I, well, I keep telling you, I'm envisioning this God, that that God. Patriots offense but from Deke, 2012 or 2013. The, like we could do that. Deke, we Deke, could do that. We brought up Cousins. We brought up Teddy Hill. You with Brady? It's like yeah. Can, yeah why can, he say Brady? Of all, can, can he get it? Like, bro, what? 
I didn't know why he went there neither. That was a tough one to go with. Brady? <laughs> I'm Brady not, I'm not comparing him to Brady right now. I'm just saying that's style. Like, that's that's but style. He, but Brady don't have a style. Brady is, is style. Brady is the style. It's Brady. Yeah. Brady it's like when we say seven. What I'm saying is when we the, say seven, it's like it, it was seven. very systematic how he went about things. No, but it's still like, ah, go up. I mean, he, very, it, right. I mean, he could run the show if he wanted to, too. Like, he, he, he did Brady all this. Cook out. Yeah, but... That's that's what I'm saying. I, you know, give, give it some time. Uh, that's what that's what I, that's what I'd like to see. That would be the full fruition of. But the Kenny it's not Hoffman. Brady. No, don't don't say words like Brady. Like, I didn't like that word. You say you Brady. That's say whoa. That's what got you to choke. Say whoa. Was I was with the you. you Kenny's got more mobility, bro. bro I was with you yeah. all the way. You said Brady. I said hold on, bro. Wait a minute. Pump, pump the brake. <laughs> you right, can't me, say, Brady. Me, I don't know. Give, we me, give me another guy. example. I'm going to say, we got we, 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 we hey. another guy. We got another guy, man. It's way too many names for you to name Brady. Yeah, I'm going to say, Brady is right. the style. It's, it's Brady. Yeah, we can't even bounce back from that. And you, can't Brady. Say, <laughs> you can say, I want to see Kenny be like, like, that's too big. You can't it's do that. Brady. Yeah. That's like saying, I want the prom queen to look like we're talking Beyonce. Like, yeah, we're talking yeah, 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 I'm saying, yeah. You, so you say, yeah, you should go right Kenny there. running the Steelers system like Kenny Brady did up there. But, but then <laughs> Kenny's got some of that free stuff. He does. I feel like he can have all it, but it's just like, bro, that's just, that'd be like you say, yo, we're going to be Mahomes. We can get Mahomes. It's like, yo, it's, can we get no, just a, a, see, a I don't, different I don't see, caliber I don't see Kenny playing like Mahomes, though. You know what I mean? Just because of Mahomes' natural talent. You can't say Mahomes either. Leave that name out of it, too. Leave that name out of it, too. Mahomes is a power name. Like names like Brady, Mahomes. You leave names like that out. What of about Manny? Joe what about what about Joe Manny? Joe Burrow kind of is a close range. You could say Joe. Like yeah, Joe. That's a fine. Bit I, I've Joe. done those comparisons before. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Joe. Joe is a system guy who can freestyle. What, what about Eli? Eli Manning? I like the Burrow one. I, I like Eli that. Burrow Eli, a little better. Eli won Super Bowls. Eli Burrow hasn't won one, bro. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. E Eli's Eli's a Tom killer. Eli's a Tom killer. <laughs> but Eli's a uh, fine, even better. Yeah. <laughs> We'll pick the guy that he took like out Tom Brady. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we're not going to allow this to just yeah. go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burrow, you you got Tom. To go <laughs> yeah, like. Burrow, Peyton. Yeah, it's fine. We need, we need someone with a little bit more athleticism. Too. Hey, yeah, Burrow's, Burrow's a good one. I'm fine with Burrow. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Hey, Ma I Ma I Mac Jones? Bro. Mac no. Jones? No. But I told you who I think he's comparison to, but I don't want to start up the spark. I don't want who, to who, 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 who'd you say? Who, who'd you I say? Said it, I said it from jump. And I remember I remember I said it on here and Deke was like, What are you talking about? And I was like, All right, bro, I ain't gonna start with this. Tannehill. <laughs> I told you. I was like, that Tannehill's, was Tannehill. No, no. He Tannehill's a pro bowl, hundred million dollar quarterback. You act like he Tannehill's is. a bad quarterback, bro. Tannehill's, Tannehill's, Tannehill's a bad quarterback, than quarterback than neither. Right, Tannehill's a good player. He's a good quarterback in his league, bro. He's he's for a certain QB one. He's a QB one, bro. Tannehill's and a QB I stand one. On this. Yeah. I think I think one of the things Pittsburgh needs to put into their game would be interesting is a little bit QB run in their book. Because I uh, think we forget Kenny Kenny. He is athletic. We remember the fake slide. He's athletic. The fake slide, man. Y'all want to see Kenny be? Y'all want to see him dice it up? Like it's, it's not that quite yet. It's not. He don't have that many reads in the read yet. They don't even open no, it the up. No, the offense Yeah, to that just yet, right? Yeah, I watched one play. I, I man, they ran four curls. <laughs> Dude, that's what I've been talking. Everybody like, that brought that what, one up, what, bro. What the hell is this call from Canada? Like, <laughs> he's not helping the offense out with these hey, calls. Hey, if that's you terrible. ain't with your one on one, we screw, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we screw. We keep talking about the back shoulder or the throw. Bro. Like, that's Swear. no easy throw. <laughs> the back shoulder or the throw. Or hey, the goal, tough, like, bro. You better be yeah. right. You got to be right. Yeah. That back shoulder ain't no easy throw. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, like, so you're man, saying like, Kenny's got a gun. No, I didn't say that. You said that. Because I know how I do. I didn't say that. You said that. I don't know if Tanner was making that. that Every time we try to give him a cover, you just go a little bit too far. You're like, yo, why you at it? Why you gotta go no, there, bro? We could we could settle on the burrow one. We could settle on that. We're comparison. not gonna do that. I didn't say that. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it, man. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how I get. I didn't say that. You said that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. They drafted him in the first round, you married him. You married him. This is true. That's what you said. No. I'll be real. Now, I would like to, I say like this. If something catastrophic was to happen. Oh, Lord. Don't and see. the year was to just go in the toilet. Oh, here he go. got the first pick in the draft. D, can your yeah. mans go, D? 
they move on from that. Here you go, D. You, you We're heard first him, in D. the division, dude. D, you, 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 he, he, he done went full doomsday on it. He said, yeah, we go yeah. ahead and pick first in this draft. Like, wait a minute. I'm just saying that somehow. TG, did nah, you, like, get off, off your couch like, like that bro, one meme let, whenever let, Kenny went let, down in the Texans game? Is that what happened? Like, you actually on, got excited when he got hurt? Let me give you one more nugget off of that. If you happen to get the – it don't have to be the first pick. Cause that 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 no. fifth pick gonna be nice. The fifth, that yeah. seventh pick gonna be you nice. Got action. That ninth pick might not be bad. I'm just saying, it could get weird in there. Cause it's a, if you ever needed a quarterback, this was the year to go get. Now you, you tell me that every year, TG. You say that every year. No, now, I man. don't tell you that every year. TG, Last year was hot. Y'all say every year these quarterbacks are supposed to be the guys, and then it'd be like, yo, two years later, I'm like, yep, he sucked, he sucked, he was average. Oh, he was kind of decent, but it's I the never same. told you that, bro. Yeah, he was team. just high on Richardson. I will say that. Okay. I was hard. I was okay. really high on AR. Uh huh. I was extremely high on AR. Okay. Who, who else I've been high on? Man, I been, I'm, all right, I've all been right. on Caleb for three years now. I was on Caleb back maybe, in maybe, high maybe that's what, shout out shout out to them to the Maryland DC boys and yeah. DMV cast, man. Shout out if you know I you know. On, right. I was on Caleb back in Zaga High School. Yeah. I, when he went to Oklahoma, I'm like, yeah, it's Oklahoma now. Okay. You know okay. When he left Oklahoma and hit SC, I'm like, that's him, y'all. He, he's big time y'all. now. He's big time. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Where you at on Shador guy. versus like Caleb Williams or like a Drake man? No, that's not a talk. That's not a talk. That's not a talk. Is it because Shador in front? Is Shador in front of crib? Is that why? <laughs> Shador is a really good player. Shador is gonna be nice. Is Shador went to Gonzaga High School? Would that change anything? If he went to Dematha, would that nah. change anything? Shador is a, Shador's a Sanders. That's the highest level you get. Okay, okay. I, I mean, on, that's now. what I thought. I just didn't know if, yeah. if your hometown had more than that. that. You know what I'm saying? No, not more than not more than prime. That's okay, prime. Hey, it's prime. You know, prime. I, I, same here. Come on. I grew All up right. on prime. Yeah. Everybody did that dance once or twice. Boy, that's what? Prime. You better act like it if you know you that's know. Prime. I'm simply saying, like, Shador is good. Shador holds the ball a little too much, and I was on that way before the hype got here. Ooh. I'm like, he takes a lot of sacks. Okay. He really do. But at what the same the time, conspiracy? he doesn't want to throw picks. No, yeah. I'm, not on the conspiracy. I'm not into the conspiracy. I'm just thinking he holds the ball too long. Man, I'm not talking about. Hey, info. Hey, yeah, I'm mm-hmm. talking about he be back there. He he looks for a home run every play. Like, he don't take that single. Yeah. If you don't understand, like, uh-huh. he ain't going to throw that little down, that little check down he, like he, he won't, should all the time. Like, like yeah. when a Brady would nickel you for 30, he, he'll hit you 13 times on a five yard route. Shador ain't trying to sit there and hit that thing for 13 times. Yeah, he don't want to hit He like, that. bro, I want to dagger you now. I'm tired of waiting. Like, let's go. And he going to wait to see offense. it come through. Like, all right, is it going? The uh, offense hit makes that. him do that. Yeah. Because he, he throws a lot of quick game. Like, his game is mm-hmm. quick game. Like, he's really Brady-like. When he keeps yeah. saying Brady mode, if you That's watch it. him, he's really Facts. Brady-like. Facts. He don't got an extremely big arm. He don't got like them things, but his time is good. His accuracy, his accuracy, is stupid, bro. Mm-hmm. No, but he holds he holds the ball a long time. He really does, and that's before all the hype. You feel me? He's not. He's not. If, even if he was to come out, he wouldn't be the number two quarterback in this draft. Like I don't want you to be. Talk your talk. You got, I'm telling you, man. TG yeah. do this, man. TG do yeah. this. It's it, some guys. You need a friend draft, like bro. TG. TG ain't yeah. gonna answer your text, but when he pick up, bro, he locked in. Go to work, TG. Go to yeah. work. It's <laughs> some guys in this draft. Like it's some game changers you can go get out here. Who's, Who's your three then? Who's my three? I'm so I like Buddy from Notre Dame. I'm big on Buddy. Oh, from Notre Dame. I am. okay. I like Buddy from Notre Dame. But let me tell you, that boy at Washington ain't bad, bro. Panics. That lefty Panix. Panix. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, bro. He can play, bro. He sling that thing at a high level. Who, did, who else is good? It's another one in that I'm forgetting. Right? You got the Caleb. Uh, the you Oregon dude, Bo Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oregon. Yeah. Bo? Bo, Bo Nix over in Oregon. Nah, I, you ain't I digging like him? Bo, bro. I'm not. I, I, like, I like Notre Dame more than I like Bo. Okay. When yours? I, I seen Bo at. You got to think. I seen Bo at. Down uh, in Arbor. Yeah. Yeah. I seen Bo. Bo, them, uh, Bo just I old right them, now. <laughs> Yeah, I think both caught the right senior. system. Yeah, super yeah. senior in the system, baby. Let's go. He caught the right system. Like, this is a good system for him. I'm not saying he can't throw, but he yeah. all right. He not. I see Bo. Bo is like the Will 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 Levis of that draft. Mm, you know what I mean? Okay, fair like, enough. He's like, he'll he'll get a hype. He'll get a lot of the interesting stories, but he's it's not that. Mm-hmm. You hear me? Michigan's QB, uh, McCarthy. Yeah, that's the guy. He's you, the guy. Yo, he's okay. Guy. I like him. He's not too mobile. But yeah, he, he got one of them arms, you know. And Tom with the Michigan, I'm sure he talks to Tom. So you know, we we got we got it. That's got to count for something. That always counts yeah, for something, man. Yeah, that's got to count for something. But but, but for you, but for you, is Caleb and Drake though? Those are your dudes? It's Caleb and Drake. 
It's one, two. Caleb and now, Drake. Now, what is it about yeah. Drake that you like over Shador then? Uh, I like his arm. I like his feel, his presence, his feet. I like how he is in there. I think Shador is the hype. Shador is nice. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I think Shador comes back to school next year, though. But I think, I think, like, I, he's a better quarterback right now. His decision making, his processing, I just think he's a little bit better. I think Shador is elite, though. Hear me when I say that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I love Coach Prime. Before that gets twisted, I love Coach Prime. Man, you, know, we, man you already know what time we on Everyone over there, chat's bro. questioning. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I, I love how you, but this is what you do. This is what you, that's what I'm saying, man. Talk your talk because you actually yeah. know this. I don't, I don't I really watch the Cosboys like that. Yeah, I yeah. get on them after the season. Really you you on it on it. Yeah. Yeah, I really watch this. I do that. Like, Shador is a good quarterback. But I'm just saying, like, Shador runs a lot of – like, bro, Shador don't – you're not really getting to see him run an offense. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of – I would love to see him come back, you know? And I think he'll do good in the league when he gets in the league, and I mm -hmm. hope he gets to the right system. I think that's going to be extremely important for him. Because, like, he, he almost – don't I'll be real, he almost don't need to be a super high pick because he's gonna go to a bad team. He need to be on he a needs good to team. Go, yeah. Yeah, he needs to go somewhere that's like a decent team. Like honestly, a Pittsburgh would be perfect for a Shador. Don't you know get what I mean? don't, like, don't get deep fried up. Don't get deep fried. I, get, I, I know you're you're saying up. it innocently, but he's gonna take yeah. it as a shot. He gonna take it as you coming to his men. No, well, that, that was would be it, it was a great spot. scenario for Pickett when he came out. That's that's it, what it, we were that saying. Was, absolutely, like, it, I would uh, agree. It was like if he we uh, uh, we didn't even think he was going to go to us. To be honest with you, I thought he was going to go to like the think, Colts or like one of those late teams. I was like, that, that, that's yeah. going to be a perfect work, scenario for me. So I I get what you're saying. The toughest thing for Kenny was like honestly that Kenny got that first round tag on. Him. Yeah, Kenny's a good player. He just got that tag that says he's a first round. So the expectations so are yeah, are going to be way higher. More expectations. Yeah. If Kenny goes in the second round, he's not doing bad right now. Yeah. You're looking at him a little bit different. Where it's like, all right, we said that was kind of like the Bud Dupree argument early on. If he was a second rounder, man, we're not looking at him saying, bro, we need more. But as a first yeah. rounder, expectations are naturally if Nazi's higher. If he's a second Na third Nazi. rounder, you yes. think he's running really well right now? Yeah. First but that round first round expectations. Tag come with so much. Yeah. And you can't you know you can never take them expectations away either because the compensation for what it took to get you is already out there. So it never and, goes away. Yeah. And perception is reality. It is what no, it facts. is in our world. Facts. Perception is reality. You're perceived to be the 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 franchise, the wife, like mm -hmm. the yo, we, we we moved on from from a this. You're, you're year, the answer. Yeah. We moved on from a fifty year relationship to get to you. Like, you know what I mean? Like we 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 dreamed of getting a big Ben, and now we had a big Ben for all these years. He did what he was supposed to do. Went to the Super Bowl. Did we had to do? We done moved on. We done came to you. You supposed to be the next savior. They feel like yeah. You feel me? That's the redemption tough. for passing on Dan Marino. Too. Right. So so right that's or tough. wrong? Yeah. Right or wrong? That's what kind of comes with it, bro. And think about it. We even yeah. laughed about it. We would joke about the whole they did pass on Dan Marino. Ain't no way they're gonna do it again. What they? Yeah. You think they'll do it again? Like the fact that you're saying words like Dan Marino in the same conversation says a lot. Like that's a that's a Hall of Famer. Damn, we talking about that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, that was one of the storylines that happened no, after yeah. we drafted Pickett. Yeah. I mean, that is famous. definitely a thought. Of like, yeah, yeah, we passed up on the pick quarterback back in the eighties. We got him now. Yeah, yeah. Can't I'm not the saying that. You know, that what they say? Yeah, yeah. can't make the same mistake I twice. Kenny, but I'm just saying Kenny's not like the. We'll see if that's the final answer. I think as of now it is, but I don't think it's like. If the year doesn't go all the way right, something weird could happen. I'm just saying like that. Uh, understood. <laughs> understood. Understood. I know you're scheming so, over there. If something catastrophic was to happen, but they're number one in the division. So now it's just so, so, in, in, in all seriousness, I don't think TG even being funny right here. I think he was being true of like, he don't think anything will happen. But if it got yeah. weird down the stretch, because if an injury took place in this season went belly up because right now we're three and two number one in the division yeah. that type of combo Everything doesn't good. happen we're good even yeah. when people were panicking about Canada, it's like bro as long as you're winning they're not in a we're rush not. to go and take a chance why would they risk that over there when they know what they currently have here and that's kind of the difference the two would you rather have two a bird in the hand versus two in the bush it's like yo we talking about we want to get to that super bowl but right now we are guaranteed to have this one bird right here that we know what it is but are we willing to risk that for them? And it'd be a fairy tale, and now we, you know, screwed with nothing. I think all of that is a part of this thing, man. Man, I, I mean, yeah, that's what I said. It's real. <laughs> it's real like that, bro. It's real. It's real, man. That's what I said. All right, all right. 
So we didn't talk some trade scenarios. You done broke us down with our collegiate action. Let's go. Let's go. And you told us Canada is not going to get fired as well. Okay. Okay. Nah, Canada won't go. We won't get fired. Okay. Yeah. Not on this train. Canada's biggest fan now. Respect. Respect. No, don't do that. (laughs) What do you mean? Don't do that. (laughs) We can't. We can't. (laughs) Still 24th. You know, I I thought I thought I thought the NFL kind of did them dirty though. You know, like hey, side note. Oh, 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 I said I'm Canada's biggest fan, the offensive coordinator. No, I don't. You can't say that. But I thought the NFL did them dirty in a sense. Check this out. I thought they did them dirty. Like they kept showing them on TV. Oh yeah, the GoPro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the GoPro. But I thought it was dirty. It was kind of like they kept dropping that 24th, 24th, 24th. I'm like, yeah. you got it the first time. Like you ain't got. They showed keep. it all again. Yeah, they was pushing yeah. the narrative. They pushed the narrative. Just, they was just letting it be known. Like, hey, yeah. this is. Hey, this there is the fans are booing them. Look at this, guys. Yeah. We're like, okay, like, we, we we got that in the first quarter. Here we are yeah, in the cool. fourth quarter game when y'all still just like look at him just 24th offense. You see it? Just in case y'all remember, he sucked. Yo, it, support I him, the but whole hey, he sucked. Was trying, the 24th was to the offense. Oh, I didn't see this stat. It, no, they had us ranked 24th. Like nah, but you don't do that all game. You don't sit there and keep letting it be yeah. known as 24th. We're actually ranked the 24th. I thought we were worse than that. It was like one of yeah, we was in like our, something was 24th. Yeah, it was some uh, 20s in there. Yeah, I don't know I what they, they were, but it was some. It was like a rift between did he call that check or did Kenny call that check? (laughs) And it's like that check is part of the system. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the system. So they both called it. Like he ran the play. He gave you the system. He got allowed you to drive these keys. This is the key to check out of. Yeah, I'm checking out of this. This is where I'm throwing it. Great play. Great job. And TG, I was kind of saying with that, man, you can't get to the audibles before you can at least do this. This is the prerequisite before I could give you full autonomy to check plays exclusively. Yeah. It's like, can you just read this look and tell me, all right, if it's this yeah. coverage, go to this play. If it's this yeah. look, go to that play. Is. Like, is it too high or one high? Yeah. Like, hey, I need you to detail your work. Is it too high or one high? Is the corner on? Is corner off a little bit? Where is he looking at? Oh, you got a clue? Let's do it. Yeah, because it's bigger than just calling a play. Like, when we talk about, like, in, in Madden, right? Just, man, I'm going to call this call right here. I'm going to call this call right here. It's like, situationally, how are they trying to attack you? What are you worried about? And this is all at the line of scrimmage, even for seven. That's why it's like, yo, when seven talks auto, it's like, bro, he's sharp as heck because he's doing it at the line of scrimmage, but he understands the situation. He understands what they might be trying to attack and also how he wants to attack said coverages. Because you might want to run for a verse, but if I'm sitting in cover four, what are we doing? You right. you might right. want to run crosses, but if I'm sitting here in, the, in, in you know cover two or cover three, and I'm just sitting here with zones, it's like, okay, cool. What are we doing? Yeah. And those are some of the things that if he's not locked in and accurate on that right now, all you're gonna do is drown him if you throw that on his plate. Right. And that's the part where it's like, okay, these are the little checks where it's like, yo, if you're getting that part, bro, now I can potentially give you more of that. But I need to at least know that you can do the baby steps. In a clutch moment, right. too. Yeah. Abs- versus, the Ravens, versus the Ravens, bro. We know the Ravens. It's like that's throw the true. records out the that's, window, bro. You know what time they want. Yeah. Right? But the big part is, like you kind of really just said, the baby steps. Can you read this too high yeah. and know it's covered too and let's check into the right play? Mm-hmm. Give me that post into it. Yeah. You know? Can you not be confused and still read the too high and then it rotate the one high and you still make the right read out of it? Mm-hmm. You know? Because there's so much more to that. Like, I mean... People check to the wrong plays, and then it's like you blaming the yeah. the OT, and it's like, all right, I didn't even I ain't even call, call that now can, right. Yeah, now I can give you the keys. I, I ain't gonna mm-hmm. do that now. And now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm the but bad now, guy because you missing your checks and you checking the wrong stuff, and which might limit the whole thing. Like you got to think that football, like especially like as you get hired, like them NFLs, there's so much more to it than just all right this is the play like it's kind of like look if we get a two high we want to go here if we get one high we want to go here but if we get too high with the corners press we want to look that's a here. different look yeah yeah, yeah. It's specific. we might get a mm-hmm. one high with the corners press and we're thinking something night and day mm-hmm. but check it if you see that intent to blitz check out of all this and i need go a hot the- <laughs> yeah like <laughs> like bro hold on sure bro and then yeah and then you know at the end of the day fatigue changes your game so as this thing gets tired, you you might have forgot about everything he just told you about. So it's so much more to it. Like, it's so much more to it. You know? It's yeah. truly a system. 
He gonna grow. Like he gonna grow. I go through all that in Madden. He gonna grow, bro. He gonna grow. Gotta make all these checks at the line. It's crazy. But <laughs> all right. He gonna but grow. Really- Bro, most you remember, you know how I used to be in there. I'm like, bro, we have like 60 plays, bro. Bro, it's like we used to be like 60 plays, and every play got a check of like four or five different things an empty check, a motion empty check. Was it bunch? Is it pro? Is it slot? Is it motion to slot? Like, bro, you be saying, bro, like, you remember oh, our dudes, we used to come out. God, we used to come out. Will me 63, bro. I'd be like, bro, we in white. Wait, bro, play <laughs> that they turned to you red. We, a a, hey, bro, what? I'd be like, bro, we still in white, we in red. What we in, bro? Like, uh, and change your whole everything. Then it motion to an empty, and you're in like blue, and you're like, wait, how did no. we get here? Like, no, I thought it was white or red. Like, where did blue come? No, or a pistol check, it's a, or it's like a, lot, a bro. yeah, a Y off check, or and a Y on check. But like, and Deke, the thing that's craziest is like we're giving the context, but we don't even play quarterback. Yeah, we're quarterback is way harder than what we're even talking about, and it was even challenging for us, and we did it except for a while, man. But for a young player like Kenny, sometimes it is better to keep it kind of protected. Hey, Until you gotta think, bro. He was just 18, 19 games ago where there was like a uh, thirty-two screen, like hey, hit, oh, yeah. hit him right there. Yeah, thirty-two mesh, like college hit him or hit him. Yeah, like hit him, hit him, or take off. Like now you talking about read this, read this, and it's something post like snap, yeah, yeah. And you got a Miles Garrett coming at you, or you got a, you know what I mean? You got like, a clowny at you. And you might you get got, four hitches on this call. You like, bro, you gonna give me four hitches with this, bro? You know what I'm dealing with? Like right. th- th- that's what we say. Like, nigga, go both ways. It ain't yeah. just on him. It's like, bro, I got all of this. I'm dealing with trying to press it. You gonna give me four hitches, God? Oh, hit Come on, bro. You, don't give me four hitches. You don't see this. <laughs> And you don't see this pass rush getting at me like this. Come on, this bro. Front. It's four hitches, baby. Man. Help me out, please. Man, so they done ran go a both ways. Text and I just swung into the yeah. text. And now I need to. It's a lot going on. It go both ways. But that's, that's the all I've been saying. I, yeah. I, need, I need some more help then, for our most, quarterback. Yeah. Most. And then on top of that, we now are saying he is coming off a little nick. Like, that's him. I hurt a little bit, too. Nah, like, hey, you hey. Know you be saying, like, like, bro, my knee. Don't hit my knee, please. Like, yeah. I still have to be out here, and I got to look tough, and I'm not going to wear a brace because I don't want to give you a telltale. But, yeah, we still hey. – our bodies are still bodies, bro. We, you human. Yeah, you still you know got a little – ah, it hurt a little bit. <laughs> and the knee is just what they tell you about. They don't you tell know, you it, about it's that. the shoulder. It's got a neck. Yeah. It's got something else going on, always. It's a lot going on. Yeah. Like – no, nah, without a doubt, out. bro. Without a doubt, man. TG sounds like an aid supporter right now. Low key, you hear him, right? Yeah. I sound like a who? It sounds like you went to pit, man. No, I don't sound like that at all. Did, did you say, it, it, it sound like that? It sounds like you said H2P oh, yeah. over there. You say H2P? Never said that. <laughs> he need all the support he can get. They losing every week over there. <laughs> they said they switched their quarterback to tight end, bro. What's up with that, I've man? I've seen that. What's, what's that about, that? bro? Oh, man. You know what's I didn't that say about, bro? You know look, I didn't say nothing. That just goes to show how right I was about that game in the backyard, bro. We had a tight end playing quarterback. I'm like, did they move him to tight end? Am I tripping? It said he's playing tight. I said, that's the starter. Oh, man. Oh, this can't be the same quarterback. This can't be the same guy. Them boys trying to land a five-star. That's what they doing. They like, we ain't got no quarterback. (laughs) He said, well, we put it out there early. Just in case y'all ain't know, it's available. If y'all play quarterback, we looking. (laughs) I'm talking about spring ball. It's wide open. That's crazy. Crazy. You come in here and start out of high school. That's yeah, yeah. No, seriously, yeah. That's what he's talking about. This new guy, yeah. This transfer from Penn State, yeah. If he ain't it for the rest of the season, we're yeah. we're definitely hey, looking for someone. Hey, 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 y'all ain't it. Hey, 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 TG, y'all talk talk it. that a little bit too, man. Like y'all ain't <laughs> it. He said, but you you might literally have your eighteen year old starting out there next year, man. Bro, you might have a, a like child, a, fre- a fresh out of high school, child, bro. Like a fresh out of high school. A freshman good, out of high school who just had a book. He had a senior prom. Seriously, a month bro. Ago. He just turned Starting eighteen all two months. Yeah. Come on, bro. You, you know, and I, I'm all about the, you know, but like we in the world now where it's like, man, you can't. I know kid in that quarterback. Man, you got a transfer. Go. A transfer or something. That hasn't been working out good for us recently. It might be it's this y'all. OC, though, because Slovis low, is low key, doing like halfway decent with BYU. I was going to say, I know for us, that's been our method since, shoot, since I was even at JMU. We always get a transfer. It's always a transfer, bro. 
We stay with the transfer. Y'all choking out all these good quarterbacks, man. Y'all need to let them boys get free, man. Go to a good program, man. Y'all choking them boys out over there. Well, we need to get rid of the OC at Pitt, too, I think. I thought y'all liked the OC over there, though. I thought he was straight. It's a Cincinnati, right? No, no, no. We like Whipple. We like Whipple. Get rid of the jersey. Cincinnati was with Slovis last year, and Cincinnati's the same guy this year. Get rid of the offense. Get you your own field, your own building. I agree with that. I agree with Get that. Of, I've been calling Get for it. We need to place but, but, over in But Oakland, then they'd be West Virginia. Shenley. They just call them West Virginia, then, right? Man, if they had all if that. They, if the, I mean, that's like saying if uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. If it's she so was good. bad, you call it Beyonce. Don't do that. Like, don't you do that. <laughs> yeah, you know where I was heading. No, I'm about to say, don't get, I'm about to say, this, we, we, this is a family-friendly show. I appreciate you for that. I already knew. I already knew where you was no. at. This is it's a family-friendly <laughs> show, man. At all. It's real family-friendly. Oh just, just, yeah, we ain't getting fired. Me and D, yeah, we, got, we, got, yeah, we got responsibilities out here, man. No, don't do that to us. But no, then they would be West Virginia, the big, big, big brother. You know what I mean? Was that an extra big? That was a big, big, yeah. big guy. It's Dang. a big, big, big brother. That's it's just crazy. fake news. Got a man, lucky win this year. There's some little dudes right now, man. Acting like they own the rivalry or something. It's not true. We do. The facts we are the facts. We don't even see y'all. Winning, winning record. Pitts way over West Virginia. The facts on, are the facts. Man. Bro, I think y'all just lost to Virginia, and right? And we got a natty. Then well, we got nine, but I know I know you won more recently and everything, but at least <laughs> we got one. What have you done for me lately? What have you done for me lately? I need to know what have you done late? Who have you beat? Listen, we had a tight end at quarterback, so this what is accurate. He, he was a tight end. Y'all got a legit I, tight end. I, I am questioning some bro. of our that's, coaching that's decisions wild, and personnel decisions what here for sure. I just want to know when did they realize he was really a tight end? Man, when like, like, have, how long did it they should have known after that Cincy that, game? <laughs> after that, I'd say after the first half of the Pitt WVU game, they sh- they should have made that call. Yeah. Man, hey, they should have made that call when they brought him in. What? They should have made that call when they brought him in. Like, ah, oh, this ain't it. This ain't it. We ain't that, that's what I'm wondering. Right? Like Weren't they this? seeing this in practice? But he's a good person, in the though. Spring? All right, he's a good person. We we can't he's slander all of him. He's a good person. He's a good person. Bring him to West that's Virginia. Fine. We'll fix him. He's a good person. No, he's done. Bring him to West V. We'll fix him. Year. Tell him to transfer to West V. We'll get him together. Did, did you say it's his seventh year? Probably sixth. I was gonna say, Lord, he that, he an old head and he's struggling. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I ain't know he was old. I thought he was. So still this dude like we're bringing head. in, I think, I think he's a soft. He might be a red shirt sophomore. Okay. So if he's good, he might actually be the future for us. Okay. See, I I don't know why I thought he was younger than that. Well, uh, he was yeah, transfer from Penn State. So he been around, around. And he yeah, you can't be around, around and still struggling like that. It, yeah, he's a tight end. He's tight end. Well, they're not doing that anymore. Narduzzi said he's not playing tight end because it would be. I, I what? think he feels like it's gonna be too much of a circus, which I agree. I was trying to see who's going block. Yeah, just bench him, make him the QB coach or something. I don't know. Make him the QB. You want him to coach it? Do something. No. I, I don't know. Boy said, make him the coach. Give him a he said, let him coach it, Lloyd. No, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just saying, make it look good. Make <laughs> bro, it, make it a little bit more respectable. <laughs> we down bad, man. Give him a headset. You ain't hear that. <laughs> Say, you'll make them the not code. saying listen to him. Not even. Not even. I, I don't even give him Wi Fi. Don't even give him a plug. I was like, Dick, you want to do that? Right. No. Just give him a headset. <laughs> Makes it look respect- <laughs> respectful. Hey, you did say that. Hey. Don't let him live that. You hey. have to. You have to readjust that. I'm about to you say, say you do not want that the man coach. coaching it. If you see it, you don't want it to coach it. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Just, just let it live for a little bit. Instead let of a straight be bench. A That's all I'm saying. It's like a it feel good. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah, Make give him a headset. I'm not saying plug it in or not saying this give for him the like look. Wi-Fi access or anything. Yeah, I yeah. was gonna say let him run out the tunnel first. Just let him do that. He, not not the uh, intro. You know when the team runs through the banner, he could be the run through the banner guy. Right. Like be that I would be guy. With that. You know, be, be the he, team. He'd be a good guy for T- that. TG. You know we everybody don't start every week. Some of us, man, we like to be at the front of the line when the team gets introduced, and that's our version. That's our moment, okay? That's just so okay. Yeah, he, he could do like that. Just go stand at the front of the line when the team gets introduced. You jump up, do whatever cool little trick you want to do. They got nice little pictures. Speak from experience. You know what I'm saying? It be like that's what time. You just got to get, get yours when you get yours. You feel me? I'm going to get I mine be- before the team. I'm going to be the first one. All right, let's go. Okay? So maybe that could be his. That's his mode. He could be that guy. And, and a heavy high five and hand clap guy. Energy guy on the side. Completely line. fine with that. Yeah. Just don't be the quarterback anymore. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, that's wild. I bro. hear you. That is wild, man. 
<sighs> well, my dog, it is about, yeah, an hour that me and you been up here with my dog, Deke, and it's about 624 as well, man. So, uh, we're going to let you go ahead and get up out of this thing, man. But we greatly do appreciate you as always, man. Hey, my dog. You all right, hey, man. man. Hey, man, shout out to the Wolfley family, man. You know nah, what I mean? Big, on? big respect but to the Wolfley family. All right, know, P, man. man. The West D guy, Steeler guy. Yes, guy. yes. You know what I mean? Dale Wolfley. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Big, big you staple, know. man, in the West Virginia uh, media family. Obviously, we know uh, his brother, Craig Wolfley, uh, the play-by-play -play for the radio broadcast. Yeah, um, obviously uh, passed away right prior to the game, starting and stuff like that. Shout out to Wolf, uh, Craig, man, Shout pushing Wolf, through, man. man, calling the game, even coming into the station multiple times this week, you know, doing the radio show and stuff like that, man. Nah, but that's 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 real, man. I totally forgot about that connection with you too, TG. Totally forgot yeah, that, man. He yeah, that he, he did. Guy, that's man. boom. Absolutely. Come on now. Boom. Yeah, yeah absolutely, bro. You know I mean? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know, if you wanted to go to the games, that's how we got to the games too. I'm yeah. Devastated. Yeah. So, you know. Nah, without a doubt, man. R.I.P. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, yeah, broski, man. Appreciate you, man. You know we will spend a block on you a week from now, baby. All right, dog. My All dog. All right, my guy. Peace. Let's get it. Let's get it. Dang, TG, man. That was fun. That, that, that was a blast. He just had my... I totally forgot about Dale at the end right there, man. Maybe a little, you know. All right. Should we just hit these supers? Yeah, yeah. Let's tap in on the supers, yeah. We got Christian Mathias Bro, here. that was actually a lot of fun, man. It was, it was a good combo. We covered a ton of stuff. Yeah. Holy smokes. This is supposed to be the bye week. We ain't supposed to have nothing to talk about, TG. Deke, Moats. We ain't supposed to talk about nothing. It's supposed to be confused out here. But, yo, it's bye week. We ain't here. We got we rapping, rapping. Oh, uh, and I got more, too. If we want to talk changes at the bye week, I got a, I got a ton more. Well, we could say it for tomorrow. Oh, shoot. You know we're what I mean? Here tomorrow. You are, we are here tomorrow. We're here tomorrow. We're at 626 Let's, right now. We'll, I don't, don't want to we'll get you in trouble. Listen. I might already be in trouble. All right, so we're going to finish these supers, and then we'll come back in this day in tomorrow. I think we can get these done at right. 645. Man, let's cook up then, Deke. Y'all hit that like button one time for the coach, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so just yet. Content will continue to drop live like how we do it. Let's go. Christian Mathias, here's the thing. Matt Canada is not an efficient play caller. Najee up here talking about people don't know ball are criticizing coaches. <laughs> I can't even, hold on. Mm. I got to collect myself. While he's running like an over, while he's running like an overweight turtle. Canada, crying face. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Did bro call him an overweight turtle? Which Ace. one was more disrespectful? That one or the peg leg comment from a couple weeks ago? The peg leg was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the peg leg was crazy. Because I visualize a day go, Jesus. <laughs> bro, an oversized turtle, overweight turtle. Y'all crazy, bro. Oh, man. Um, <sighs> To an extent, Christian, you are right. Um, And this is part of the issue, right? When we say an efficient play caller, when we brought up the four hitch routes, yeah, stuff like that, that is very inconsistent. Then there are the other parts where, like we said, there are still some unknowns just based on the simple communications of what we've talked about today. The checks in place, how much, how extensive they truly are, the trust and what type of calls are they giving him? How much are they putting on Kenny's play? I think a lot of that is truly at play with Kenny, man. And that's why a lot of times we even think about how many times we've talked about Kenny or having this conversation. It's like it's hard for me to have a hard stance on him because it's like, bro, this is a lot that is on his plate while he's still young and we're trying to put him up here to grade him and it's just like the timing isn't right for that just yet man this isn't like a tradition let the season play out right it wasn't a traditional opportunity for him where he came in and was you're the guy from day one we're gonna pamper you do everything to get you comfortable to get you up to speed he took over in season and then it was okay you get this all season and now five games into it you're down your Pro Bowl receiver. You were down Pat Fry move. We talked about Matt Canada just having to get more up to peak, up to speed. And then the O-line's been inconsistent. Yeah, O-line took right. a step back. But it's like we're expecting Kitty to be viewed or already here. And it's like you got so much already on your plate. And now you got these variables as well. It's just like, bro, we just got to give it time. But that isn't fun to talk about, nor is it popular to talk about. So that's partly why people don't re- 
you know, liking the time part of it. They just want to get rid of one or the other, or in some cases, both. Like I said, I've seen enough from Kenny. I I, I do believe in him. He's yeah. he's gonna yeah, he'll get it right. I I think he's already shown that he's getting things right, but mm-hmm. even better as the season goes yeah. on. Christian Mathias, Canada is not built if if not we're firing Canada. Mm-hmm. Christian Mathias, yeah. Canada is not built to be an offense coordinator. It's so obvious to Steeler fans that the play calls see calls are dumb. It's predictable in a bad way. Hmm. It's second and ten, run to the right. Negative three yards. He said N H. Oh, Najee. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh Yeah, there's things about Canada I'm not liking. Yeah. There are times, I mean, there are times, and you, you brought this up, O-line could block better. Um, Kenny could maybe make a better throw or a better read. Receivers could but, get open better. And multiple things are true. And even what Christian said in terms of the efficiency of his play calling. Yeah. What is efficiency? It doesn't mean that you can't do it. We're just talking about how many times you can do it correctly. Yeah, how you're That's calling the, the game. Right? So Everyone's going to have a bad play right. call. It just feels like they're happening yeah. too often. So, and part of that also is we're hypersensitive to the scenario. So we have, you know, rabbit ears almost like if uh, anything he, yeah. looks off, we're oh, we got to go crazy. Where it's like, if this was a normal search, a normal situation, I don't think we're as on it like that. But this is where we are right now. We can't undo, you know, what the situation, what the climate is, but. That is also part of it, where it's like in the first quarter, we're losing our minds. And it's like, bro, we haven't even had two series of offense yet, yeah. yet and we're already booing. It's been times with the killer B era where it took them a half to get it going. We won't bought the boot them after a series, but that's the state of where we are. And like we said, man, part of it is because of what we came from. When we're coming from this tier, it's like, bro. We don't expect anything less than this tier, even though this tier is an outlier for the NFL, right? How many teams in the NFL have had the number one quarterback or, okay, a top five quarterback, top five receiver, top five running back at the same time with the top five offensive line? Most teams don't have that at the same time. So for us, we did. And now we're transitioned from that. And it's like, that's still our expectation. And we'll throw out the cute word, the standard, the standard, right? And try to use that as some like, tricky way to all oh, see it's got to get back that but it's like no the standard is still the standard but you also got to understand what you're working with this is an outlier it just was our outlier for a long time and that's why we've been who we've been for a long time now we're working with regular pieces it's like okay can we get back to that i think his body of work has to do with why even though we're five weeks into the agree. season why people are yes fed i up. would agree Yes, I mean, indeed. that's part of it. Because even though I yeah. said Canada deserve, does deserve this third mm-hmm. shot, I did say, I mean... Within reason. It's I, within I, reason. I did say mm-hmm. he's on thin ice for me, though, yeah, to be absolutely. honest. Because not a fan how the Ben last season played out. Mm-hmm. Not a fan how the first half of last yeah. season played out. But the second half gave him this opportunity. And instead of building off that and mm-hmm. just looking better than what we have, it, it feels like we've regressed as yeah. an offense. But a, a lot of your points are valid that it's just it's early in the season. Thank God we're three and two, and it should get better. Like it mm-hmm. should get better. It should to the level I want it to be. That's that's my question. You be want thirty a game. I don't know if we got thirty this. No, year. I don't want that. I want. Oh, oh let's say no, I, no. I don't think we got. 30 I want it. This I year, want bro. at least what the end of twenty twenty two was looking like. That's what I want. Yeah, because we were constant. I'd say mm-hmm. seventy to eighty percent of the drives. Having doing something positive, oh, yeah, and, and moving the ball, with whatever it was, plays. field goals like at the touchdowns, like 78 percent of the time, it was, it yeah, was, it was so consistent. Yeah. Like, we'd have long ass drives, mm-hmm. we, we would, and people yeah. would complain about it and stuff. But right. I, I felt like it was conducive drive, to us winning play games. Drive, 15 play drive, 12 that's what we was on. Mm-hmm. Whereas I feel like two of our wins thus far have been in spite of the offense. Mm-hmm. Whereas the offense case, was yeah. working with the defense last year, it was, yeah. it was all together. You could definitely make a case. And that also isn't out of the equation when you talk about the defenses that that offense has faced, along with the fact that our defense is the strength of our team. So there are going to be times where our defense naturally is going to have to carry that extra weight. They're the force multipliers with our team as a whole. When I was here, the offense was the force multipliers. So 
one side or, or the other is going to have to do some of that extra heavy lifting. The Rams, when they had Jared Goff at quarterback, and it's like, bro, they got Donald over here. They got this cat over here. They got him. It's like, yo, they going to do some of that. Somebody got to do the heavy lifting. And that's how I go, man. Let's go, you dub How would you guys rate the free agent class so far? Uh, it's probably pretty mixed off the top of my we I mean, we signed a lot of guys. Quan, E. Rob, Cole, I love. Yeah, I got action. My I got some tape dropping on them soon too. I'm about to Pat say, Pat P's been a disappointment. Yeah, say Malu, disappointment. Yeah, yeah, I'd but, say so. I would too, unfortunately. Not <sighs> as bad as Pat P, but based off his expectations, couldn't you make a case sure. they'd be the same? What? Haven't they been the same though? We both had high expectations for both of them. When we see Pat P get beat is for, you know, a deeper pass. When we see Say Malu beat is somebody hitting the quarterback. I think it's because uh we feel like Say is like still in his prime where oh, we enough. can yeah, understand yeah. some decline from Pat P one way or another. See, that's why I thought I was more Oh uh, sure. That easy sure. to me because it's like we kinda expect it with Pat because he is older. You just never know when that was gonna happen. Yeah, but we yeah, know I, that was a part of it. I guess I didn't think it was gonna be as bad for Pat P. Whereas, yeah, you're, that's fair. I, I guess the, the the degrees for both disappointments yeah. are the same in a way. Right. That's because it's like I thought. Pat but I think Sam Alu's better. the better player right now. Yes, I would agree. Like I have a lot more optimism for say Malu to right. turn the switch yeah, yeah, or yeah. worse for Pat. I'm like, this might be best case right now already, because as the season goes on, Knicks bruises. <clears throat> you naturally start to slow down. And if you already are slowing down, those are some of the things that, like you said, become part of the convo. Yeah. Yeah. Christian Mathias, and this is the real antsy part of Pittsburgh fans are feeling. There's no more bone-crushing defense that can just bully and hurt people. Those days are over. You must have offense. It's a must. I mean, that's a perception. We've proven that you can win, and we have won multiple times now with defense. And it is bone crushing to an extent, but more so we don't focus on bone crushing. We focus on turnovers. You look at our defense, we create a ton of turnovers, and that's been our staple, man. We, you know, we don't try to follow the method of everybody else. We're about trying to outscore you. We're not on that energy. We're trying to choke you out. We trying to turn that over in terms of getting them uh, turnovers, you know, forcing y'all into mistakes. That's the mindset here. Uh, just, I mean, you got a defensive coach if you think about it with Coach Tomlin. And that's also a factor that we have to remember. Coach Tomlin's mindset isn't going to naturally be, I want to score 40. I'm trying to blow teams out. It's like, no, bro, I'm thinking of how can I stop you? How can I minimize you? Because if you can't score, you can't win. And that's the one thing that we know, and that's the constant through it all. And even the elite teams, you see, when defenses are locked in to do what they're supposed to do, you do minimize them. You make them have to snap that thing a lot of times, be patient. Oh, man, but they hit that deep pass. Yeah, you look at the def- defender, make a mistake, and you're like, yo, that's what you're waiting on. We trying to see who's going to make the mistake first. It just happened that they did. But you can definitely win like that. So, Justin Gordon, what's up, fella, or tops, fellas? What's happening? Yo, tops to the one of you, man. You're quick to get rid of Najee, but is there any current QB or coming out of the draft you trade KP8 for one for one? Oh. And giving you any OC you'd want. I'd take Stroud. I don't know any receiver on that team. Sure. Mm. I'm just stick with my guy. I know it's. Oof. I know it's not. Uh, I know it's not. Oof. Like logically smarter. I mean, I would stick with my guy though. Out of the I'll loyalty. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, Mahomes would be. Because I was really like, bro, you was you. He said anyone. <laughs> Outside of Mahomes, though, I'll be honest. I, I mean, I said, I said top three. Did I not say top? This is going to develop top three. Mm-hmm. I'm not backing down. It hasn't been the best these first five weeks. Whatever. I, I saw some clutch moments. Saw some good things. He'll develop into that. It took Burrow like halfway through his second season to... Mm-hmm. We were just talking with TG. What, what was the comparison TG was bringing up? Burrow. <laughs> we he live. said Tannehill in one breath, but the other one was, <laughs> was, was like, Burrow. I heard two names. But I heard two names, and then I heard the way that you threw out. It was like, whoa. All right, so... We we could we we could Burrow is the commonality we can live with that one. That's yeah. what I'm saying is uh, if I think Kenny could become like those other guys get into that stratosphere, like why, why do I want someone else? Fair enough. That's my point. Oh no, because it's gonna mean more if you believe in your guy. He actually yeah, hits. Yeah, yeah. 
But if it doesn't hit, just hypothetically, is I think you know. Well, let's talk in the off season. I we got to at least see this season play out. <laughs> all right, all right. Tyron, who would you guys add in free agency? And we was at the game. At the game on Sunday, section 532, we felt that game-winning throw in my feet all the way up there. Let's go. Let's go. I love stories like that, man. Salute you, man. I hope y'all had a great time at the game, man. Um, in terms of free agents, who would we? Well, I guess the best free agent corner just got signed the other day, you know. Josh Norman. Best free agent corner that was available. You know, he's a former all pro, former like $50 million corner. I mean, this is Batman. I he might said, be more washed than Pat. No, nah, no, nah, don't you do that now. Don't you do that. Actually, he definitely is. No, he is not. No, he is not. You at know least Pat P at five. No, no, no. You, you know why he's not more washed? Because they're not about to play him like a number one quarter. They're about to play that man like be a part of the rotation. Come out here and fight. Give me extra effort, all that nastiness and your smarts. But you are not the number one guy out here. You're not even the number two guy out here, man. But yeah, man, just no. So unfortunately, Jano's already been signed. So let me think of another free agent option. Uh, yeah, because Edmonds is employed right now, so I can't go get him. Yeah, I guess I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm good right now. I've heard Fournette be thrown out there. Like, if we traded Najee. He is still available. Fournette low-key. I don't know. I ain't doing it. I was going to say he fits a little better of what we want because he's like a bigger, older version of Warren. Yeah, I don't know about free agency, guys. I got trades for days, though. Yeah, I would say if it was trades, I like I got, way more I trades, trades than free agents. Yeah, it's... And because in the season, I'm like, if he's sitting, they've been sitting for a minute, man. Like, I, I trade. I would definitely like trade. Trade more than free agent. Uh, Christian Mathias, Tomlin deserves a pass. Canada doesn't. It comes down to that for me. This is the NFL. Canada isn't deserving of a job just because his play calling is so predictable. It's ridiculous. I'd be loving when they'd be like, deserve it of a job, man. That's. Nobody deserves anything in the NFL. I ain't never thought that that was the case, baby. Nah. Um, it's a results-based league. It's literally that simple, baby. Yeah. For Coach Tomlin and Matt Canada. I mean, we go down that list. Yeah, but Tomlin's reputation's okay. hinging on Canada yeah. now at this point. And there is no, oh, yeah, you deserve this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We say people tell people all the time that in the NFL is like, no, you got to earn it every single day, every single year. And it's a what have you done for me lately league. They do not care about the year before or the year before that. Because when we talk about how many coaches have won a Super Bowl, it's not a lot. And when we were like, oh, yeah, we got one of them. They'd be like, we do not care. When has he won another one? It's a results-based league, man. So, yeah, yeah, all of them. Coach T included, man. Nobody deserves a pass, baby. Got to earn it. Steeler Nation on fire. Steelers should play Riley more in the slot. I do agree with that. I think he uh, brings a certain level of toughness and physicality that I really enjoy in the ring game. I thought we got to really see a lot of that in the preseason. I understand why they're hesitant because his limitation is with the coverage part. And I do feel like Sullivan is a better cover guy than Elijah. I think Elijah is a better defender in terms of the run stuff and just being more from a physical uh, physicality standpoint. But that's part of the issue, you know, with that now they've most they've used multiple players in that slot spot pat p was getting some work in there desmond king flirted with it for like a second i feel like versus baltimore um and obviously we said sullivan trey north was one of those guys who used to get some opportunities in there elijah riley we talked about this preseason getting opportunities so we could potentially turn into like how it was when we had mike hilton and cam side when it was this is run play pass play blitzer non-blitzer and that was kind of how we had to dress it up and make it work. But that could be something that this evolves into, especially with Patrick Peterson more than likely getting more opportunities in the slot, probably going forward with the emergence of JPG on the outside. 
Fish Momentum. Happy Wednesday, Moats and Deke and Chad family. How can we lose on our bye week? Mm-hmm. LOL. Mm-hmm. Ambition live this Saturday at the pub at Tonnendale, 8 p.m. to midnight. There it is. There it is. <laughs> we also got Fish Momentum saying Ambition live at Craft House Bar and Grill, November 3rd, 2023, mm-hmm. Friday, 8 to midnight, and Steelers Tailgate, the pregame show featuring there Ambition. Is. There it is. November Let's 12th, go. 2023, 10 a.m. Hashtag mm-hmm. free. Hashtag Jack Myers Jr. Big facts. Big facts. Yeah, that uh, Stage A one. Packers game. Mm-hmm. Bro, and like we said, man, Stage A-E, stage A-E man. We have been in there a couple times, man. They get active. Yeah. <coughs> uh, fish Momentum. We stop AD Stafford and the Rams. Question mark. Hashtag Rams Week 7. Don't, don't forget Twitch. Puka. They got Puka. And Cup just came back, too. Yeah. That's really all they have. They have those three. Yeah, because they don't game, have much on defense. Yeah. I mean, most of the assets are gone. Yeah, that's there's. I mean, they're staying relevant. Like we, yeah, they got. We should win. I would like to think we're going to be the favorites. I don't know what the line's going to be, but see, I think it just depends on how they view Stafford. If they think that Stafford is that much of a force multiplier, we know it's a quarterback league. It's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Well, and they well, might be looking yeah. at their receivers versus our secondary. This really is a time to start playing JPJ, I think. I would also agree. Yeah. Yeah. But hopefully we can get I after. still feel like we match up well with it, Yeah, though. yeah. I think so, too. And we got the great equalizer. We rush the passer. That's the great equalizer, man. It should be a good opportunity That's for our offense. That's the great offense. equalizer. should be a good opportunity just – contain Aaron Donald. I know that's easier said than done, but we did it before with your boy Dotson. We should have a decent we should yeah, I was gonna say we should have a decent job against the Red Rushers. Yeah, because Floyd's not there anymore. Floyd's up in Buffalo. I don't even know they have. Nah. I, I got a week. Turned the page yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the bye week. I got that's a week. I definitely ain't looking at them yet. They got Sean McVay, they got those players. It, it's just one of those things you can't you can't lay down for, obviously. Heck no. Nah. Sean McVay with Stafford and with how and we've been Cup. playing recently, we, we can't lay down for anyone. And with Cooper Cup coming out, it's the Triple Crown winner, man. Super Bowl MVP. Yeah. You got to be careful with them. AJ Martinez gifted a Mets membership to David Soto. Shout out to AJ Martinez, been a rock style life. And David Soto, welcome to the upper room. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And that's all the way from Chicago. Don't think I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Brilla 92. Will Khan make a move before the trade deadline? Hopefully it's for Horn or Shatan. I was to say, I, I don't put it past them. I definitely don't put it past him. He's been super aggressive. That's been what he's on. So, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he does. A corner would be my pick if I had to go off priority. Yeah. Young stud corner. AJ Martinez, shout out to the madness. The USSS Steelers is sinking. Oh, hell no. It's not. But the sky is falling because of Canada. I think we make a run after. (laughs) Hey man, nothing wrong with that, baby. Just hold fast, whatever you do. Okay, just hold fast. AJ Martinez, I choose consistency over splash. Splish splash. I was taking a bath. We know not the word consistency. Mm-hmm. I think the coaches are sandbagging. Mm. <laughs> that would be an interesting concept offensively if it kind of like sandbagging. No, so think not in the sense of we're not showing our best stuff. So you don't take it in the literal sense of we're not showing our best stuff, but think of it in the sense of like when me and TG were talking about like how much you want to put on a young quarterback's plate. And we kind of broke down everything that he's already dealing with prior to really trying to get, oh, let's attack this or really trying to put more schematic or crazy stuff. It's like that could also be a part of it because I know on defense, there's definitely been times where it's like, yeah, we're not going to get crazy exotic because if you blow Mm. this call, that hurts us more than it helps us. So instead of me showing something sexy, I'm going to give you this basic stuff. And yeah, we're going to be hurt in certain scenarios, but we're not, you can't kill us like this. And now once you show you good with this, then we can go to the next thing. It is all a part so of Canada's it. Canada's secretly Shanahan. I'm not saying that. See, I ain't say that. And I know that's the narratives. I'm like, I'm not saying none of that. But to act as if that could not be a part of it, I'm like, yeah, there could definitely be some validity to it, man. We got a young player, a quarterback, man. This bye week could be a big breaking moment then yeah. for this offense. You heard me multiple times, bro. I feel like we're going to see an uptick. And I also feel like the more Kenny is out there and the more he's with Canada in this system, the more comfortable he becomes, the more it slows down for him. 
it doesn't slow down when you're constantly trying to know what your assignment is. And with change, you go back to having to know what your assignment is versus I know what I'm doing now I'm trying to attack you. Now I want to see what you're giving me information wise and how can I really hurt you? That's part was like, yo, just give it time, give it time. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Mason Neveling just joined. Love the show, fellas. After watching these games, it seems like receivers are getting schemed open. Bad line of scrimmage play and poor throws and lack of confidence is affecting this offense more than Canada. I mean, from some of the tape that I watch, I can see some validity to what you've been saying right there. Sean McCartney, who would have thought JPJ would have as many interceptions as Pat P? Also, how do we (laughs) feel about Mason Coke? I thought having Sam Alley would help him. Oh, Mason Cole. I, that's a, I, yeah, I Mason missed Cole. something that happened. I was like, what? what? I hope he didn't do nothing with no Coke. Lord, the Coca-Cola. All right. Um, I could say, man, Mason had a terrible matchup last week. I know y'all saw that and everybody that lost their mind. Red play, pass play is like, yeah, it was hard to do a lot because of the matchup. It's real like that. He's been having a little bit of a down year as a whole, though, too. The offensive line as a whole that has had a down year. Yeah. It was just... He was very really consistent last year. But, yeah, that Ravens game, man, he, like I say, he had a bad matchup. Sometimes when you got a bad matchup, it's just like, bro, survive the day. <laughs> just survive the day. I don't like these early bye weeks, but maybe this was the perfect time yeah. for us, to be honest. No. He survived it, though. He survived Forever, You know what I mean? We get yeah. Deontay back. This gives Kenny and Canada time. Mm-hmm. Maybe to dig into some things and then offensive line. They could look over some stuff too. Yeah. Black and yellow Texas Steel Moats. What's the drill my boys need to perfect? Man, well, to keep it simple, for offense and defense, I already love that we do it. Um, I used to call it the L Bell drill. It's I'm gonna get you that rock, it's about ten yards space. You got numbers to sideline, ball carry over here, defender over here. Make the open field tackle and make that guy miss. And why is that? Because a lot of NFL is the one on one. Can you make a guy miss in the space? Or can you make an open field tackle? And you look at Jalen Warren on the cat and the catches he had in the flats. That's literally all the drill is. You're getting it to him early. It's a defender about seven eight yards away, and he's making two three guys miss at a time. And then you look at the flip side for us. A lot of times we're really good with those tackles, but when we've given up explosive plays, look at it on the perimeter. And them alleys, how we miss the tackles. That would be what I would say because, number one, it's going to benefit our ball carriers, whether it's running back or wide receivers. But then defensively, it's also going to keep us to a point where we're always going to minimize damage. You might catch the pass. That's fine. But I can't let you get the yak afterward because now it's a compound, Fred. It's compounding on each other, you know? Yeah. James Skitka. Moats, I'm like Deke, hard on my sleeve kind of fan, but Mm -hmm. I sure appreciate how you talk us off the ledge and put things in a frame. All a matter of perspective, much love to you guys, and thanks. No, I salute you, man, and that's the beauty of it. It's like I envy at times how Deke can be so passionate because for me it's hard to get to that level because I still look at it as this is a process. This is just this and this. There is no emotion. X's and O's, X's and O's, X's and O's, X's and O's. You don't get high, you don't get low. You just won the game, it doesn't matter. You just got a contract that changed your life, Deke. You know what you do? You go and work out because you don't even appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, like, I look at you, I'm like, bro, you be turned. I'm like, bro, I can't. It just doesn't work like that. Like, I can't. And I love football, but it's like, I just don't have that part because it's so, got to get it right. Got to be perfect. Got to get this right. So, yeah, man. But that's what we all in here together, man. It's a dope little vibe we got. So salute you, man. Absolutely. Uh, we got. Oh wait, hold on. Same guy. Uh, let's go. You dub. How much can we get selling Mitch to the Jets? I don't think they'd want him. I think they're they're gonna they stick like with Zach. Zach right now. Yeah, I think they're starting to believe in him. He had a good game uh, last game, right? Last two. Yeah. Yeah. Outdoed Mahomes. Depending on how you want to take that stat wise, yeah. But Mahomes ultimately got yeah. the dub and. Did what he needed to do. Also, the refs did what they had to do to make sure the <laughs> Come on, Chiefs man. won that. They, they had, they had, they t- just did you see the, the helmet one? The helmet thing with t- the Chiefs? Touch the plate on the way out. That's it. Who, wait, who did the Chiefs play this week? Uh, it was kind of a close game, too. No, it was. It definitely was. The Chiefs defender took his helmet off. Yeah, because that's when uh, Kelsey I got hurt. That was... Uh, what was and the- then the refs, they just said, put your helmet back on. Yeah. I mean, it would have been like a huge penalty. Who were they just, bro, who were they just playing? 
I hate when we do this. No, and then me. NFL, like the NFL social media accounts are like all over the Swift stuff, and like oh, yeah. they're sucking off the Chiefs too. So they, I mean, it's, it's getting weird. It's it's getting weird. This is starting to get like Patriot esque, where like okay, oh, all man. these all these calls are going Chiefs way here. I don't know about this. Tyrone yeah, Bryant. We have seen a lot of calls go their way. We have seen a lot. I'm of telling them. you. Tyrone Bryant, being only offensive captain, too much weight, too early for Kenny. He tough, but unnecessary pressures if he's following seven. Isn't pressure enough? I mean, you bring up a great point. The problem is you don't get to determine, you know, what pressure should be put on him or not. Like as an individual, not saying you specifically, but even for Kenny, like he doesn't get to determine that when you're drafted in the first round and you're coming to Pittsburgh following Ben Roethlisberger, think about how deep views seven. And we essentially, as an organization, said, thank you, Seven, for your service. I didn't we, say that. But as a Deke did that. But as a whole, the conversation is, thank you, Seven, for your service. But now we have your replacement. We have the guy that we think can do what you do or better or is better for our team than you. So when you make that statement, yeah, the expectation, the pressure is automatically going to be there. And because we haven't had a fallout, like, terrible season yet, it's still a certain level of expectation and standard that comes with that. So it's like, for him, yeah, it's a ton of pressure. But that's where, to my team, I try to encourage him because I'm like, bro, I know. Like, that's a lot, man. And you played at Pitt and you had success at Pitt. Even having success in college is hard. So it's like, for you to go from that. And at then Pitt? Come, that, that, that was the best Pitt season we've trying, had since Marina. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, bro. So it's just like a lot, like the situation is the perfect storm as a positive and as a negative for him. But that's just how life is right now. He just got to rock through it. And like you said, man, that's why I'll be over here like, yo, positivity is going to help him more than, man, let's bash him, bash that. It's on this person, it's on that. It's like, nah, because it's not about pointing the fingers. Because if you point the fingers as a young player, now you start to lose sight of, okay, I can make a mistake, but the fans are going to just blame the coach. And they still gonna love me, I'll still be all right. That creates a bad situation. That creates a bad dynamic. But for him, he also has to understand, like, yo, I can't try to just come out here and say, okay, seven did this, so I'm gonna do everything that seven does, because I'm not seven. And no, that's he the doesn't play other that part. Way. That's right? what I was saying earlier. So it's like he just has to understand like who he is and follow, you know, and set his own way. But this is also why you're playing starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we know what our expectations are. So yeah, it's a ton of pressure on him. But the standard is the standard, right? We can't seek comfort, man. Just got to cut your eyelids off. Don't blink it, man. Enjoy the great times and thug it through the rough times. I think he's done that pretty well. Yeah. I think there's a reason we drafted him. Like There there have been some very high-stress, high-pressure moments, and dude has stepped up. Thanks. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. we, we want him to be more consistent, just develop better as a, a quarterback as a whole for yeah. all four quarters. But, for instance, this Sunday night game against the Raiders, having that uh, performance – that we had against the yeah. Browns as an offense. Mm-hmm. Back-to-back primetime games where yeah. everyone's watching, Sunday okay. night on the road, right? Mm-hmm. Like, dude delivered. I mean, you could talk about all those clutch drives last yeah. year. You could even talk about the Ravens game that we just saw. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know, I know it came down to the very end, and Still, we, we, he, finally, he got, we finally got an opportunity for the offense mm-hmm. to take advantage, and they did. Final drive, closed it out, didn't even yeah. put it in Balls' leg. Chris Mathias, except for Pats versus L.A., since the player protection initiative, offense wins championships. Moats, question. You bring, question mark. Who won since them? Mahomes? Uh, there's another. T- uh, Buccaneers. Buccaneers, Buccaneers defense was the thing that won that game. So that's why I'm like. I mean, obviously Brady and the so Bucks Brady, offense but, did all that, but yeah, they they yeah. dismantled Mahomes in that offense. They, they they only scored like nine points. Although there were some big but, time drops from this but, Chiefs but receivers. But also, what was the difference? No O line for the Chiefs. Yeah. Dominant pass rush from the Bucks. Is there if you want to see it? Is there now when you bring up the other championships? It's Mahomes. So we said if you don't have the outliers at quarterback i.e. Brady, Mahomes, and company, then, yeah, you might want to be locked down on defense. But tell me, outside of that, who else is winning that didn't have 
an elite top tier quarterback. Now I think that Buccaneers the, defense yeah. was a big part of that championship. Obviously Brady was. being there was too, no, but no, for a fact Brady was. threw those three picks in that Thank NFC you. championship if game and they walked down Rodgers. Thank you. If for a fact was, but like we said, it just depends on how you want to view it. That's it, babe. Yeah, so if we get our, our defense up to a good level, an offense just solid. Right. Because I look at no different when Jared Goff and the boys went to the Super Bowl. Was Jared Goff viewed as elite, elite? He was he, was, he had a dope year, but were we viewing him as like, yo, this is... He was top 10. Okay, I, he was top 10? Okay. Yeah, but I, I think that's the thing. I, I, was that the first year he started putting up stats or the that's second? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't remember him being like hey, top crazy, 10. I don't, crazy. I don't think anyone had him top 5. He was a good five. player, though, no. right? Yeah. But they had everything else going on. They had a dope running game, yeah. and they was going to play dope defense. I'm just like, yo, it's a recipe for success. It can win. It can get you there unless you have the guy a quarterback. If you got one of them five aliens that walk around, it's like, yo. It's like, can Kenny be better yeah. than a golf or a Jimmy G? Right, because if he can't with everything else, it's like golf is a, a miss throw from a Super Bowl win, and we're having a Same totally different Jimmy narrative. Yeah. Absolutely. I said golf. I was thinking about well, GG's golf me. too. I mean, yeah. he, I think for him it was he like one or two missed throws. Yeah. Or didn't Cooks drop a ball? I, maybe that was it. Brandon Cooks dropped one. I just remember the day. I don't know if they Adelman. necessarily win, but right, maybe right. they would have. But tied it would have been different. Though. It could have been different. Yeah, but to me, I think of that. I'm like, bro, Jimmy G. He's literally a, a missed throw from being a Super Bowl champ, and that's with that same recipe of defense, running game. Don't turn the ball over at quarterback. Be, be make the throws that you got to make but don't turn the ball over at quarterback yes you can do that yes you can win like that but the easier method is if you got one of them dudes or at least it's because i don't even think it's easier because it's still very challenging we've seen that with seven seven one of them dudes but it still is a lot that goes into even getting to a super bowl let alone winning the super bowl yeah i mean you even know you're very familiar. Josh sure. Allen. Josh Allen's one of those guys, yeah. right? But and still, a lot has to go right, bro. Tough. Uh, Tyron Bryant, Canada gets the short end of the stick. Year one, no knee Ben, respectively. Oh, come on, dude. With all, he said respectfully. That's, just, that's a nice. I respect that's that. Right? A slap in the face. No, 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 no. He, he meant that with all due respect too. He's with all due respect, respectfully. No. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> This is looking like a Canada burner account for YouTube. <laughs> he says, year two, new team with KP, GP, etc. Third year, young QB that defense has tape on. We hated Canada day one. We did feel some type of way about Canada. Uh, I can't say that completely. With how Ben's last year played out, yeah, I, I did grow to hate it was Canada. A, it was a weird time because people were ready to move on from Feekner. Yeah, I didn't. Care. I just wanted Ben yeah. back, to be honest <clears throat> with you. So whatever it took to get Ben back, mm -hmm. whatever. And people were maybe high on Canada. You bring some innovation. Whatever. Like, yeah. I didn't care as long as Ben's here. We got a chance. That, that was, was always my thing. Yeah, he's gonna bring more of the newer style offenses with the college stuff, the it'll, zone it'll, reads, the yeah, sprint outs, balance and stuff. it out and shit. Yeah. And, no, and they were like, oh, this isn't gonna fit because the yeah, yeah. How yeah, how Ben's final season played mm -hmm. out and. Some of the reports I was seeing, I'll bend and have the, the audible ability for the first however many quarters, and yeah. I got some confirmation on that from Batch and whatnot. I, I just, yeah, I was not a fan of Canada. Yeah. Not a fan. So, from again, going back to Canada coming back this year, for me to be like, yeah, let's, I think Canada deserves a third shot at this. Yeah. That, that's a lot. That, I that. that just goes to show how I much I thought that, our offense improved that. at the end of last year. Trust me, I respect that, bro. I respect And it that. wasn't putting up style points either. It's mm. just I'm watching the games and understanding this yeah. is this is winning ball, though. Mm -hmm. This is winning football. Let's get back to that. Tyrone Bryant, fans put Patrick Mahomes' expectations on a player out of college following <laughs> a Hall of Famer uh, when he recently has shown Philip Rivers' potential. I mean, how you view Philip? I'm fine with him. Like <laughs> Philip's probably a Hall of Famer. Like I, if if Kenny, I thought he's a Hall of Famer. I'm like right. I view him in like that class. I need chips though. I do too. Chips are very very tough though. But we ain't settling for nothing less. I'm with you. We gonna we gonna get rich or die trying. Get yeah. a chip or die trying. Come on, man. Yeah. If you uh yeah how I'm trying to think. I'd rather Kenny's career play out like who's it like does Phil Simms have two Super Bowls. 
he at least he got, got one. one. I know he got one. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. have Kenny's career play out where he gets, you know, Super Bowl, a couple Super Bowls, he whatever it is. You ready to be Trey Aikman? But he's, Dan he's a Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Aikman, Aikman, that, right, yeah, Aikman wasn't one. the talent as Marino, but he has the wins and he has the Absolutely. rings. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm trying to think who else. Eli Manning over Dan Marino. I'd take that. Yeah. Take the rings. Maybe your borderline Hall of Famer. Yeah. Based off what just media coverage has been on you or whatnot. Christian Mathias said care. Trent Dilfer. You want. <laughs> Wait, does it mean Trent Dilfer versus Dan Marino? I'd take the Super Bowl, man, to be honest. I want the Super Bowl. Are you serious? Yeah. I want the Super Bowl. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Trent Dilfer over Dan Marino, bro. Oh. I want a Super Bowl. No, not, not saying, in like my ranking. But, but uh, rankings. Uh, through life right now, I'm like one Super Bowl champ, one still Dan Marino. Just, that's a tough sell for we me, man. We play for Super Bowls here. That's a tough sell for me. I, okay, listen. Christian Mathias says you putting Trent Dilfer on KP8. No, sir. Bro, that's that's a tough that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. Lord. I'd like to have Kenny be the franchise. Yes. Because Trent Dilfer I, wasn't he only in Baltimore for a couple years. Yeah. He just was, he was to just win a one. big journeyman. Just enough to win one. Yeah. So I, I think Phil Sims or Eli Manning would be the comparison if yeah. we're gonna say, hey, those guys' careers versus a Dan Marino or like a Philip Rivers. For sure. That's what I, yeah, a couple Super Bowls at least. Can we be Eli? But what about a Joe what, Flacco? Can it be Eli with less picks? Because Eli, I'm just thinking of like how they they're viewed. How do you view Flacco? Because I view Flacco. He's not a Hall of Famer. He got hot. He got hot. I, I can't. I but can't he was the Ravens he franchise yeah, quarterback. He was, he was the guy, and he was the reason they won the Super Bowl. Too. That's my other part. Like he got hot, hot. KP's, you know, franchise for the next decade. We won a Super Bowl. Not Hall of Fame. I'd take that over a Dan Marino career. Super Bowl. I'd, okay. Super, you get a Super Bowl. I think fans would care about that more, too. Like, he would be viewed as a legend. Even, even though he wouldn't be Hall of Fame. Like, Joe Flacco's not Hall of Fame. Like John he, Easter brought up here. Brad Johnson. Down at Tampa. Now, see, that's like a Trent Dilfer. Phil, Sim, I think Phil Sims or Brad uh, was the guy. He had them stink elbow pads on. He was they. He was dude. Phil Sims or uh, who did I just Flacco? I think yeah. those are like better comparison. Neither of them are Hall of Famers. Yeah. Good careers at their respective spots. They were franchise quarterbacks. Yeah. They got that ring. Respect, respect. You take that Dan Marino. Me personally, yeah. Just because I'm saying from a fan standpoint. Yeah, that's, and I said that's the difference because as a player. I'm like, bro, I got some of my boy boys that are Super Bowl champs, and they're like, bro, you can have this dream most I'd rather have your career. And there's times where I'm like, dang, my nine years, the success I had, I'm like, I don't necessarily think I would just trade all of that for just to say I, was, I had a championship. Sure. Like, nah. So that's when I look at Dilfer versus okay. Marino. I'm like, I low-key, I'm tied with Dan. Maybe that makes no, me Dilfer, not... No, bad comparison. Oh, listen, maybe that makes me the bad, like, do, do personal the Sims, team. The Sims but are Flacco man. one. The Sims okay. are Flacco one are, are okay. I think, yeah. more legitimate. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm with you on that one. Because they were still viewed as the guy at their organization. And I think the Flacco one is actually... I like the Flacco one. I think that's fire. Because he's definitely the guy in Baltimore. Not going to be a Hall of Famer. No. But... For a fact, a champ. For a fact, he's gonna be loved there. He's stamped there, and you know yeah. they view him like how we view Seven. I'm sure. I'm sure they talk about him on that. Not to the Hall of Fame. I don't thing, know. But I think they that. love him though. <laughs> I don't, don't think they love him. Oh, they love him. That's what I think they love him. They they love him, but I I think he, right. he had he had it some bad years. You're right. It might be different. It might be different. <laughs> and they got a Lamar too. We haven't seen our just yet. I'm not saying it can't be, but just yet. So, yeah, yeah, as a fan. That's what that's what I would pick. I'd pick the Flacco yeah. Sims route over Marino without the Super Bowl. For Kenny, like if it's I don't know what he would say. I would like to th based off his answer. I think yeah. all he cares is about the Super Bowl. So I'd, I'm just gonna answer for him and say he'd prefer the Super we Bowl go. over the Hall of yeah. Fame. When you're active, that's your answer, and it's supposed to be your <laughs> answer. Otherwise, we looking at you real sideways. When you're retired and you you just talk Maybe for a living, a different perspective. you can say know. all of this stuff, and there's no harm, no foul. You're like, hey man, okay. I love the fact that I got compensated versus me having a ring and not being compensated. Like, nah. But that's the different part. So yeah, all good, man. All good. Who said that? That's a good question. That was that Christian? That might or it was either Matthias or uh Tyrone, right? 
Oh, it wasn't even a question. He was talking about Philip Rivers, and we that's what put it was. Our own spin on it. Yeah, that's definitely what it was. Yeah, because we was like, "Yo, how do you view Philip?" That's what, yeah. Yeah, I started the whole convo. Right. Yeah, and you said I need that chip. That's yeah, when you brought yeah. up beat like, yeah, need the chip. good talk, good talk, man. I like it. Yeah, man, seven oh eight. All right. Hopefully, hopefully everything works out when I uh, when we when we go. Up. Never know. Fingers crossed. All right. Yeah. If y'all don't hear from me tomorrow, y'all know what happened. Okay. But uh, anywho, anywho, trying to think. You got any left on your plate before we get up out of here? We back in here tomorrow. No, I'm, re- I'm ready for tomorrow. All right. Well, then, man, we're going to spend the block on y'all tomorrow, okay? So y'all hit that like button one more time for the coach. And don't forget to subscribe. And shout out to y'all for rocking with us, too, man. We was in here for three of them hour things, man. All right. So salute y'all, salute y'all, and salute you. But either way, we appreciate you. And until next time, baby. Peace.